You shall not pop stoppeth once you pop it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what is up, guys? I just pressed the wrong intro. Yo, we were just talking about this uh, before we even entered. Okay, cool. There's a background story to this, right? Because Q was, you know, Pringles. Q was popping off some Pringles before the, the recording. And, he, and I was like, yo, bro, that sounds so satisfying. And I said, thou shalt stop off because thou shalt pop off. And you started cracking up. I can't believe you used it for the intro, bro. <laughs> Hey man, I was, was gonna say something else, but I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna say that now. <laughs> Pringles are addictive, bro. Let's just be honest. If once you once you pop, you can't stop. This is why thou shall pop off, so thou can't stop off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man. I I I, I eat Pringles. Um, Weekly, I won't say daily. At, at, at one point, it was daily. Like I was running through a whole can in a work day because uh, I don't like to stop and, and take breaks, so I just bring snacks or whatever. Yeah, that thou shalt pop off and thou shalt stop off. <laughs> Bro, Pringles, man. Bro, always, what's your, okay. What's there's your always Pringles, Pringles in my pantry. Uh, my favorite. It's a it's a close it's a close tie between cheddar and sour cream. Oh, you're my guy. You're my guy. Round of applause for that, bro. Cheddar Round of is, applause for that. It's cheddar and sour cream and just the regular cheddar. Like, they, they, <laughs> they kind of neck and neck. I, I lean more <laughs> towards the cheddar and sour cream because I tend to eat more of the cheddar in general. So I just want something. I want something else in my cheese. You know what I'm saying? Sour cream, yeah. Sour <laughs> cream. Sour, sour cream. Yeah, sour man. cream is the dope. The sour cream is so nice, bro. Like the the whole cream and chives. Have you ever had cream and chives, Chris? Bro, I don't like dope. I don't like sour cream. Oh really? Nope. I don't. Just put, I don't itself. put sour cream on tacos, on salad, on nothing, bro. All the stuff that people use sour cream for. Like I know there's sour cream in some of the <laughs> foods I eat, but. Mm-hmm. I don't use sour cream as a topping at all, bro. And I don't cook with it. Like my wife know how to cook with it. I don't cook with it. Oh no, no. You know what? We you guys have you do you guys have Doritos? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we we the Doritos have this like salsa, spicy salsa with sour cream, yo, bro. It's dope. Like with that, it's just dope. Combine the both and have them less so nice. But yeah, my my favorite my favorite's like uh, cheese and onion or sour cream and cheese cheddar, bro. They're dope. They're absolutely dope. Like I I love those flavors. They they're oh. so addictive. But once you pop off, you can't stop off. I'm not. I'm not even joking. Pringles is. They, they must put some. I'm not even joking. They must put some. Nah, nah, shout out to Pringles. Shout out to Pringles. Let's <laughs> welcome everybody to the Snack Dog Podcast. <laughs> episode, episode sixty-one. <laughs> the Snack Dog Podcast. Uh, we appreciate all y'all for tuning in and listening in. Um, like, share, subscribe. Follow myself and TJ on Instagram. Love Kicks yep. Customs is TJ. He's very famous on Instagram. He got people I'm attacking not. him all the time. No, I'm, uh, what do people, people don't hate me on him all the time. Like he's he's so he's so popular and so positive that people just can't stand it when they see him. They just gotta attack him to try to bring him down, but it don't never work. So shout out works. TJ. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 bro, bro. Nobody's attacking uh, me, bro. Like, you know what? I get, you know what? The awesome thing is, sorry, bro, just got you. Um, the awesome thing is, yes, I have so much people reach out to me recently, like, because, not, not because of what I do, just because I'm really helpful and they send me information all the time and shout out to the sis. She sent me something about Nike, about April Fool's and she got caught up in April Fool's and I kind of had to kind of do some research and help her out because April Fool's was all Nike's gonna uh, make you pay four ninety nine for their sneakers app subscription and then on, to elaborate on that somebody else t- like Chinese whispers and whispers of Koei Ran and somebody else tweeted out something some something like um oh yeah they're, they're gonna produce this pre order program and then you have to pay four ninety nine for it and stuff like that I was laughing I just realised there was as April Fool's because obviously with the time of recording is the second of April and obviously yes there was April Fool's because a lot of people was playing some foolish just yesterday it was so funny I was just sitting back and relaxing like yo this is jokes <laughs> i don't i don't participate in the april foolishness i promise i, I ain't never 
I can't remember ever playing April Fool. You know how I am, bro. Like I ain't yeah, yeah, lucky jokes. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it was it was some of the brands. It's, it's really it's you know I I shout you, bro. I'm gonna say this. Shout to Offspring, right? Because you put the guy the, the people at Offspring put a post out yesterday saying, "Oh, the, if raffle closed." Like literally, literally imagine, imagine, right? Because a lot of people want to be on their raffles. If raffles closed for the SB, like for the Nike bread Jordan Force, right? Yeah. And then people were like, oh, I missed out. What? And then start people, and then automatically knew what the situation was because the the key word to for the raffle was remember what day this is or what what's special about this day. And for April Fools, definitely this is April Fools. And a lot of people were like, oh, I missed out. Was this a shock? Blah blah blah. And people got caught in their feelings, bro. I was like, what? Come on, man. You gotta be, you gotta like, be more. I start pulling my breads out. I start pulling my breads out. Nah, I was, I was waiting on it, bro. I've been waiting on it since like the twenty fourth. I thought to myself, the first coming up, watch out for the BS. It's coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was putting on you, no baloney shirts this, uh, yesterday, bro. No baloney. No, shirts. no, 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 no. All right, so, so I got, like, like you said, please do like, follow, subscribe, and come chat to us. No, no, we already did you. Yeah. Now it's time for people to follow me. Yeah, go on, 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 go on,
pushing videos, reviews, ideas, um, talking like the amount of people I talk to, even my missus is like, you don't talk to me this much, you talk to your mates all the time. It's like, you're probably, sit, come on, come on, man. Seriously, I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to like, you know, um, have a conversation and uh, with, with all the bros and kind of keep keep on ticking a bit of ideas. Bro, like, we're, like I would say we're both full of ideas, but like your your ideas and my ideas combined, everybody that comes together, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. But you did say today you had two stories in mind, bro. I'm, I'm anxious to see your stories. <coughs> okay, so I went to see Air yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And I synced it. You synced it. That's the, that's the new word. I synced it. <laughs> no, that ain't, that ain't a new word. I've been saying Seen that. It. You no, synced it. Synced it. it. Synced it. it. I seen it. Okay. I seen. I seen. Okay. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a movie. Like it's, a movie. it's, I was, <clears throat> I wasn't surprised because all the reviews were good. Yep. So I just I just enjoyed it, bro. Like I can't. I want. I, I know you haven't seen it yet, so no, I don't no. want to have that conversation yet. <clears throat> but the reviews are pretty accurate. I gave it an eight point five. Um, um, as a movie, I'm interested in seeing what you got to say about it. But okay, but a grain of salt is necessary. Oh, to watch this movie, and that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay that's all i'm okay. gonna say for the people i'm saying that for the people i didn't want to say that to you but for the people this is a good movie it's not a documentary that's what i want to say okay cool 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 <laughs> so but so basically don't expect it to be factual like it's in, like pretty much everything that we watch nowadays in, in no, some facts of, uh, in it it's a, it's um so I'm, I'm gonna tell you a, a similar example i'm watching vikings right and vikings um six seasons of, of absolute brilliance that that's probably one of the best series i've, I've watched along with sopranos along with uh, breaking bad um it's probably one of the best series i've ever watched uh probably gonna be up there probably better than sopranos if i'm honest the the historical aspects are semi semi-factual semi-diluted mm. um so so that's what we expect with movies more or less because we yeah. when we go to a movie and you know you you described me really well outside of this actual um podcast right you said to me you watch it and you go down the rabbit hole and i'd always always end up going down the rabbit hole with everything because um yeah. not everything but what i'm actually really passionate about because with vikings i literally sat there and started researching names yeah. and facts and figures and yeah. and um what what the historical implications were with that with that whole era and this is what i do because i'm i'm so there's something about me that if I know something, I need to know, know, know something. Like I yeah. want to go deep with it because I'm really intrigued. Not not because I want to have this over that, over this, over to, oh, so I can say something to this or that. It's just because I love it so much. I want to know. I my my yearning for knowledge is so great that I want to know. I want to know so I actually feel like I'm there. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that is that is a a major personality trait of yours which is why <clears throat> once i saw it and i started thinking about whether or not to even broach certain uh aspects of it on the podcast until you see it because that's going to be a, tw a 20 to 30 minute conversation oh. i guarantee you i guarantee right. you bro I, I need to watch you. that. So we don't, we don't need, we don't need, need. I know. I mean, it's come on. It's air. It's <laughs> it's a movie about what we love. So you know, it's it's we the don't, movie. We don't it's the movie of all movies because it's the movie that kind of made. Nike to where it is. Like, let's be let's be honest. Nike in 1984 were a growing company, very much so. Like, pretty much like what Puma was potentially. Um, we were a growing company. They were, they were developing. Oh, they had, God, bro. They they get into it. They, okay, uh, that was that was probably one of my favorite parts about the movie. It's when they got into the brand competition aspect. Yeah, because because oh, we know we know Nike, bro. we know we know I we love, know Nike. Bro. 
I'm sitting there. We know Nike. <laughs> like, bro, you got go. me excited. You got me excited about this movie now because you know nah, it's know, a good um, movie, bro. It's a good movie because we know Origins of Nike was runners. We know like not just like New Balance, Origins of Nike was runners, um, athletes and runners and stuff like that, and the dedication to that. But the, the development of going to the basketball range, just like what New Balance are doing, to, um, and um, Under Armour, I reckon the development of the basketball range escalated when Michael Jordan came on. This is why um, when people talk about Michael Jordan and the fact that. He what he's done in his NBA career and he's how great he is. I you have to kind of t- you have to take that into the whole perspective of what he's done to the generation, what he's done to the NBA, what he's done to basketball, what he's done to Nike. His influence, along with and let's not be honest, not, it, Michael Jordan couldn't have done it without all the other people like Nike and the, and the NBA and all that stuff and the, and the Chicago Bulls and all the athletes he had around him. That that's fun, but it came at a time when it was much needed and much required to to elevate what we know as the NBA, to elevate what we know as footwear, to elevate what we know as Nike. And this is why that can never be replicated. So however much people don't like to admit that Michael Jordan is probably one of the greatest uh, influential icons ever, that's that's where it is. And this is why when we talk about GOAT level, uh, I would say LeBron uh, NBA career is, as is probably is probably tied with Michael Jordan's. But when you talk about influence and then and the fact that what was required at that time, that was needed. See yeah, definitely, and that and that's that's pretty much the basis of the movie. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's almost um, <clears throat> it's almost like a a car accident. It ain't it ain't. You know what? Maybe that's a bad comparison. That's a. Bad I was comparison. about to say you just called a movie a car accident. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I was, I was, I was speaking on. Um, I was speaking on the interest. Yeah. It's not necessarily a rubberneck conversation. Let me let me try to put it in sneaker term. It's like seeing a shoe, pictures and pictures and pictures of a shoe. Yeah. And you already decided that it's something that you don't want. And then you walk in the store and it's sitting on the shelf and you get to actually pick it up and have it in your hand. And you feel it and you touch it and you smell it and you feel it and you touch it and you smell it and you're like yeah and it started it sucking stuff. you in you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The black <laughs> with, <hole. laughs> when i when i've when i've really heard what the story was like okay i know it's cool you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and then this movie is like i gotta watch it i just gotta watch it if i walk in the store and it's there for me to pick up i gotta pick it up you know what I'm saying? I got to pick it up, bro. And you pick it up and you love it. Because yeah, yeah. if y'all know, if if people know Affleck and Damon, they do things their way. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. And this is definitely the story told in their way from a certain aspect. You know what I'm saying? And there's going to be, I can't wait to see was said after everybody sees this movie. Because yeah, it's going to yeah. be a lot, bro. It's going to be a lot. If you know the story, um, if you know the, the circumstances around the situation uh, prior to, during, and after, and then you watch the movie, or you watch the movie and then you find find out about all these background stories, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot to talk I, about. I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the dark arts of business. That's all I'm mm. gonna say. I know this already. I know the fact that sometimes you have to do some some crafty stuff to actually make sure you get oh, the right result. Bro, they I mean they gave they gave it up, bro. It's they gave it up, man. It's a good movie, man. I don't, I don't, yeah. don't want to keep going. I'm I can, every, the more I think about it, the more I want to spoil it. I, and I I nah. did. Uh, I'm dropping. I am dropping a review. Um, hopefully, it, it'll be out by the time y'all watching this. But uh, it, it'll it'll be out by the time y'all watching this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, I I do go into spoilers a little bit in the review. So if you don't want to, you, 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 you just say you say spoiler alert at the end so at the start. Spoiler alert. Yeah, there will <laughs> there will definitely be a spoiler alert uh, in the video. <laughs> but I want to I do want to I want to see it again still. Okay. I wanted, um, when I didn't know I didn't know until Friday that we was gonna see it early. So um shout out to my wife. Uh she she caught the early tickets 
Um, the theater was not full, surprisingly. Uh, most of the seats sold for it, but uh, I think it'll do well. It's a good movie, man. Yeah. So I do, I, I do, do, I do want to see it again with uh, with fresh eyes, having uh, done the research that I did after seeing it the first time. Yeah, it's, it's movies like that are pretty dope because basically sometimes you got to watch them a couple of times to actually get the narrative properly because um, you you for first viewing and this is why I say it, especially with stuff like very in depth stuff is watch it a couple of times before you kind of get the true meaning. Like we, like bro, I, um, have you ever watched Scarfish? You watch Scarfish, bro. You must yeah. watch Scarfish. Hell every time. time tell me tell me one thing every time you watch scarfish or godfather right have you watched godfather yeah Couple every times, time you i ain't watch- seen godfathers all the way through like consecutively like that but if you watch scarface and godfather every time you watch it you learn something new especially with godfather every time you watch it you learn something new and you're like Oh wow! And it changes the sub narrative of that character. It changes what you actually originally thought of that character. Now you're like, bro. there's more depth, <laughs> no, bro. Yo, bro. there's layers to this onion, bro. There's no, layers no, no, to this no, onion. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, to what you're saying, but worse. Trust me, bro. Let's oh, talk shit. about something. Else. <laughs> oh, so, oh, so, <laughs> so, uh, sugar and spice make it nice. <laughs> Bro, come. Where's your second story? <laughs> I want you. 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 You said you mentioned something to me about uh, uh, an opinion that you had on dunks. I want to have that conversation now. All right, cool. And then right. I'll tell you the second you part of the sh- stories. Do you want me to show you? Um, because basically, um, shout out to the bro Scott Simpson. Um, he went um uh, to Glasgow or one of the one of the stores in Scotland. Um, and this happened, bro. As you can see, Scott's uh, put a story out there. Shout out to you, bro. I just snap, snap stop your story. Go follow uh, Mr. Simpson underscore 87. He's a bro. He's a, a, a very good guy. He was always kind of keeping us informed about stuff. But this happened, bro. The pandas are sitting. So the, the, so the question is, is the panda craze over, bro? No. Really? Yeah, really. Bro, they're sitting. So, where's this? This is in Scotland, bro. This is Scotland. Sat on the shelf in Scotland. Everybody's got pandas. Everybody's rocking pandas. The market's saturated and they're starting to slowly sit. Maybe not in the States, but in, in the UK they are because they're getting easier to cop. I was, I was about to say, let's, let's get specific now because <laughs> you're talking about, we're talking about Scotland. Scotland ain't, it's Scotland bigger than the UK, right? No. Oh no. no, no, no! U UK is part of Scotland. Scotland is is uh, obviously you got Northern right, Ireland, right, 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 right. Wales, sure. England, Scotland, Ireland, all that stuff. I'm saying Scotland, the the landmass of uh, Scotland is pretty big, right? Yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's it's the upper 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 half of uh, the UK. Yeah, but it's not really as densely populated. Mm-mm. And if I'm not mistaken, Scotland has a lot of uh, farmland, right? Maybe agriculture, yeah, yeah. They've got a lot of agriculture. A lot of They've agriculture, got a lot of space. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, these sitting in Scotland don't really surprise me because how many pairs is the average so person going to buy? You know what I'm saying? I yeah, think yeah. maybe the market settled just like every other market did yep and they getting this influx of pandas just like everybody else like are y'all getting the 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 panda surplus that we've been getting in the uk Mm, maybe 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 we get pandas once a month yeah, we get restock after restock after restock. Like, hey, we, well, bro, we get Nike by use, Nike a lot by use. We got the pandas. They, 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 they're literally shoving it down our throats. I'm See, not even that's, joking. That's why, uh, that's why I always uh, get a little, a little feisty. I get a little spicy with you uh, when we do the, <laughs> when we do the monthly uh, releases. <laughs> Yo, we get stuff before you. Pandas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we always, no. we always get stuff before you as well sometimes. Well, not even that, bro. I ain't, I, mean, I ain't tripping on that. If when I first, when I first really discovered that, you know, it was it was kind of a little deal. But 
No, nah, I ain't tripping on that part. But it's both, the, bro, did, the the fact that we are all getting pandas every month, and some places don't need to get pandas every month. They sell out here every time. Yeah, they would do, would do, because it, that's the mass the mass population of of sneaker purchases in the US. But um, it's it's like Oliver Twist coming to the to to the front and saying, "Please, sir, give, no, I don't want some, I don't want any more." Pretty much, this is the situation because like the craze might like, be over so, in Scotland. Are they selling out? Are they sitting in the UK? I need to find out. I need to find out if they're sitting in... I don't think they'll sit, be sitting in London, but like, um, they're starting to sit. They're starting to sit. Okay. Story number two. So, my wife come home from work. And we talking. And she says, so I'm at work today. My wife works in a, a office, a corporate setting. Yep. A lot of money moving around this place. So um, these professional office worker people are having whispers, conversations going on behind my wife's back about the expensive Nikes that she wears to work. Guess what shoe that is? Panda. The Panda Dunk. Hello. <laughs> And so, one of my uh, <laughs> uh, I don't want to call her employees. One, yeah. one, of, one of her team members. No, was it? Was it her boss? Wait a minute. I can't remember exactly who it was. I think it was her boss because he. This is a. This is a uh, fifty-something year old. Shout out to Jeff, man. 50 something year old um Jewish businessman. Yep, yep. He goes to Drake concerts. Okay. Like this dude That's bro, dope. That's dope. If you see if you see a picture of Jeff, you would think he was the green and he is pretty green. Don't get me don't get it twisted. Like he ain't, you know, he ain't all the way uh hip to, hip hopped out like yeah, yeah. He is who he is. I appreciate that he is who he is, but he loved rap music. And at 50 something years old, he what was the concert? It was one of these young artists uh concert. My wife was telling me they was trying to get tickets to <laughs> little, little, little Uzi, little pump. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh man, I can't remember. No, Drake in 21. Drake in 21. Yeah. <laughs> they trying to him and one of the uh the chicks that work at the office, they're trying to get tickets to the Drake and 21 side. Yeah. Anyway, so Jeff Wago Bono. And yeah, we've been we've been talking, you know, blah blah blah. Like these these shoes you be wearing in here, like they 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 pretty expensive, blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and all these people in here are non sneaker heads. She got the one co worker uh, that is uh, in the fashion. She, actually, she got a, I think she got a brand that she, um, you know, created and, and is working. And it's dope. My, my wife uh, bought a couple of pieces from us. It's, it's dope. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now. I shout it out. But long story short, these are people, general public people. Because there's only one person outside of my wife in that office that is, that is even aware of the sneaker culture to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? Like people know about it in general. They know it exists, but they don't know too much about it, the way it works. You know what I'm saying? The way we and, operate. And, and then, then let me let people me just... are having a whole rumor field conversation <laughs> about what who whether or not these how expensive these shoes are like how how did you get them where did you get them yeah. from how much did you pay for them it's like they come out every month but you got to kind of be plugged in yep to a certain extent to know that you know what i'm saying and she she opted not to tell them that she well no i think she did tell them she got three pairs <laughs> Pandas ain't they ain't went nowhere, bro. As long as the general public is still responding to them in a certain way, they ain't going nowhere. 
It don't matter yeah, how yeah. we feel. Exactly. I, I, I do agree with that. And if they, if they think, if, I'm just saying, if they think pandas are um, expensive, let, let, let them kind of deep, deep dive into the they are. Like, rabbit hole. No, but imagine, imagine if they if they if they say pandas are expensive, let them deep dive into that rabbit hole and work out how sneaky pandas ain't expensive, bro. Pandas I mean, are just the tip of the iceberg. You know the iceberg. Three hundred for a hundred dollar shoe is pretty expensive. Yeah, but you you we we all talking about um we're talking about the tip of the iceberg. There, we're talking about just we are not. Yeah, it's like as soon as you as soon as you break the tip. And you realize that under the, under the water, there's a whole, whole point. Yeah. And you're like, okay, what's the end of this point? Is is it is it a union that's about $1,500 or two two thousand dollars No, it's a red October. It's a, yeah, is it's it, a, or is it a red October? It's, which a, is it's a Dawn Becker one, you know. Or is it an Air Mag, bro? Which is like... It's an Air Mag, yeah. Grand. Yeah, or is it, a, is it a Chicago 85, which is like whatever, yeah. do half a quarter? Yeah. Bro, that's the tip of the iceberg. You know what's really funny? I was just, I was literally just uh, talking on the podcast and somebody messaged me and said, uh, on, on one of the reels I put, on the shorts I put, and then said, uh, this, this is sad, smart, laugh, laugh face. And I was like, um, and said, um, it's only shoes, it's pointless. And I, I was like, I was going to respond to that and say, this is, this is a niche you wouldn't understand. But you just is exactly what you're talking about. Like, people from the outside looking in will never understand why we're so passionate about sneakers because they think they're sad and we're uh, moronic or we're into consumerism, but we're not because basically we're so passionate about history and remembering that history and grabbing something that's relative. Um, and we're going to talk about this more in, in the main subject, but basically, basically, don't knock somebody else's passion. If somebody's passionate about Pokemon, if somebody's passionate about movies, if somebody's passionate about um, doing something or crafts or automobiles or, or sneakers, don't knock their passion. Like that's their passion. Let them live Bro. with their passion. But for you to knock somebody else's passion, um, just 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 off the, it's got that little tweet, that little message got me irritated a bit. But just just because of their passion that you want to knock them, like what really? Let let Bro. them let people live, bro. Let people Check live, this, bro. Check this out. So we had um. When the DTL, I think I might have told this story before. When the DTLR down the street from me, like five minutes away, um, when they opened that store a few years ago, we had a guaranteed situation where we would line up to get tickets for our size and the sneaker, and we just come yeah. back on release day and buy it. So the lineup would be like, you know, that Monday if the shoe come out on Saturday or whatever. So we all out there lined up. I can't remember what shoe it was. And this lady pull up in a BMW. She, I think she was going to one of the stores next to the shoe store. It's like nine something in the morning. Neck full of jewelry. Wrists and hands both full of jewelry. Expensive shades on. Expensive looking heels on. And as she walking past the line, she asked us, what we lined up for and we tell her the Jordan whatever is finna come out. Really? Y'all lined up for sneakers like that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. It's got a little attitude and says something like what are you talking about, lady? Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. The same feeling you get from putting on all that damn jewelry. It's the same feeling all you get put expensive this and that. It's the feeling that we get. Couldn't I, couldn't nobody clown you about your jury. I you wouldn't let it happen. You yeah, didn't fight for you let somebody clown you about your jury and your nails Shout and, to that. and and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's because because it's a subculture. Not everybody loves jury the same way that some people do. No, nope. some people. It's, some, it's it's people that's on the outskirts of certain cultures that participate, but ain't bro. Watches, yo, that's another RC subculture. Cars. We talk, yep, that's another subculture. Politics, religion. you know what? And it, <laughs> and it goes and it goes back to what I just said at the start. Fulfillment of the soul is more important than what everybody else thinks about it. That's the thing. If you love whatever you love, go and do your passion for it. Because at the end of the day, let people let people can knock what they ever want to knock. Um, and you know what the best approach is? I find the best approach. To any negative situation is to throw positivity on that. And you know I've what, had with so that, many times. With I, that I, being I, said, 
I I I feel sorry for for people that aren't into something. No, everybody's into something. Everybody, like you might be into into watching uh, series or dramas or movies or or whatever you're into. Just do just do you. Just do you. Yeah. Just do you. Just do you. Yeah. I, I, have a pa- have a love, have a passion, go with it. Because at the end of the day, <coughs> if, you have, if you're not, if you're people are interested into games, but like like all the all the YouTubers out there doing the doing the gaming and walkthroughs, brilliant. I'm a I gamer, love bro. Well, a yeah, yeah I gamer. love watching that. I love watching that. I literally yeah. kind of watch it. And it, you know, I love playing games as well. Um, but I, I'm so busy nowadays that I don't get a chance. No, but I'll, I'll play Bioshock. I played um, all uh, m- most of the uh, retro games from back in the day. I was, uh, to me, my my childhood and upbringing was so derelict of any entertainment, like any any kind of due to the funding that we were under, because obviously um, we couldn't afford a lot of things. We couldn't afford sneakers. We couldn't. We are uh, uh, my mum worked, slaved away on the sewing machine. My dad slaved away doing what he's doing. Um, they looked after us as best that they could and they did a really good job bringing us up i would say personally me, me, me and my brother have so much um success from what they've done um so i'm, I'm really proud of my parents but i didn't have a console i i wasn't allowed a console but my, my parents were quite strict that you're not allowed to play console games because you've got to work and educate and you got to get you got to strive because we are in the position we are we need you to be successful so that you kind of have an easier life and for, for, for all their blessings they've done that's pretty much a touch wood to this moment in time i've actually got to where i need to be to do what i need to do but like from my perspective, I didn't have the luxuries like a lot of people did. So for me, for me, I, I w- I'm a gamer at heart. I'm a I'm a gamer at heart, but I don't get the time to play it. And when I when I do get the time to play, it, I do play Far Cry. I do play all the other games. I do play Call of Duty. I do play um, uh, Bioshock. I you like unique games as well. Um, but I do I do enjoy watching all the YouTubers play their games. And I, and if when I do get spare time, uh, me and my missus just end up watching YouTube gamers. Like it's so fantastic to watch the gameplays because I'm I'm interested in the storylines. Uh, but yeah, it's, bro, it's um whatever you're passionate about, guys, run with a passion. Don't be afraid of what people say. Like I learned this um over over my even me, I was naive when I actually started social media. I'm I'm still naive now, but I'm more more educated to to the way people work than I ever was because I know people are gonna be salty. The best way to approach the situation is to be positive about it and to throw positive life like light you know, positive lights on it because Somebody might say something negative to you, might get you down. But bro, if you know yourself and you know what you're doing, you say, "Okay, cool. I understand. Thank you for your comment. Um, peace be with you. Leave it that." No, because no, bro, block. What do you mean? I, hit, I just hit block. Block. No, 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 no. Block. Um, delete. Remove. Whatever the button is, that's the button I hit. I ain't. <laughs> about. But but everything's not for everybody, though. That's the thing. Everything's not for everybody. Like like I will. Yeah, and then, something I mean, else, what's the else? point of what's the point of going at something that you don't you don't understand, bro? Like clearly, yeah, but people, we're not the only people in the world that love sneakers. So would you go to from from sneaker page to sneaker page attacking people? Like, come on, bro, you get a life. Nah, that's but, that's but, what but, I mean when I say I feel sorry for people that aren't into something because people like that. They don't have anything that's fulfilling them. Uh, um, you know what? The if you want to be a proper hater, I'm going to tell you how to be a proper hater, right? I don't. I don't. I don't I'm not a. Pro, I'm not a hater at all. So right? you don't know how if to be you, a hater. You don't understand. No, no. You wouldn't understand, bro. If I if I was a hater, let's just be honest. If I was a hater, I would ignore you. I would not comment on you. I would not engage with you. I will probably block you, which I've done a couple of people because they deserved it. But that ain't being um, a hater, though. <laughs> no, but but that, that's not being a hater. But that, that's my that's way removing of being yourself. A hater. That's yes, removing that's yourself. Removing. Yeah, and this is so why, if you if you come on my page, <laughs> if you come on my page and you don't like my content, and you don't want to remove yourself, I will remove you for you. Okay. Yeah, but, but this is why I can't be a hater because, like, literally, if you think of it, everything I've just said, I've just removed myself from the situation because I don't want that negativity. But that some people, hate, no, 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 it's not hate. But like, that's that's me being a hater because that that, that means I'm I'm actually remo- removing myself away from that situation to not go into that realm of <laughs> commenting, commenting negativity absence, on somebody's face. Because, absence of support is not hate. I know, I know, but um. This is but this is why I can't understand why people don't remove themselves from the situation and rather comment on your post and say certain things to you because they want to get you down. But 
I am here. <laughs> I am doing what I'm doing. How are you going to stop this momentum? How? Ooh, Tell it me. It is what it is, bro. I, I don't, pe- people try, you know, it's, it's whatever. And e- even I, I, even sometimes, you know, passion is misplaced. Yep. Um, I'm I'm more than willing to admit that because we, we see that a lot, you know, where, where passion get misplaced and bad things happen. But and, and it's okay, bro. You ain't you ain't and the only thing I'm gonna say to end this whole story, <laughs> there's been two wonderful stories from you, bro, is the only person that can make you fail is yourself, guys. So if you have the confidence to do what you need to do, you, people can say anything they want, just deflect it. If you know you and you know your passion and you know you where you want to get to and how to how you're going to get there and you have self-respect for yourself and you are leading and grinding and hustling, nobody can make you fail except for yourself. Remember that, guys. Remember that. No, I know. I know. I didn't. I didn't say some things that people probably don't like, and that's cool, bro. I don't <laughs> care. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's gonna like care. everything you say, bro. That's the like no, nobody. Nobody, and yeah. you got you gotta you gotta stand on it. You know you gotta stand on what you mean. But um, okay. yeah, man, I saw I saw um, I saw a lot of good pairs yesterday too at at the uh, at the movie. I mean, we was in Atlanta Station anyway. If any, if any of y'all you know know anything about Atlanta Station, Midtown, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, yeah, it's it's a whole. I had to tell my wife, like, Atlanta has become one of them places where people come to put on that. And that's that's what we complain about. But we, that's that. what, what, that's what, you mean, what do you mean by that? You see some, I saw, I showed you, I showed you. <laughs> I know you did. That's what I'm asking you. What do you mean by put on that? Atlanta is not a real place, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say let's, let's, oh. let's go let's go to this uh is it story, is it quick bro. strike time it's quick yeah. is, it, is it quick strike gotta, time because we got a quick I, we got a quick strike these these quick strikes i'm too. i was meaning to do this for quite a while but i have the i have the ultimate soundboard for quick time there you go quick time <laughs> it's quick strike time and what's the first up puma and, and under armor to make custom size 23 sneakers 14 bro this 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 boy's got some big ass feet, bro. I'm saying, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, 16, 14 years old, 16. Um, size 23, bro. What's what's sack size? 22. Oh, damn. <laughs> I was about to say, Shaq can give him some of his spares. He can. He probably will. Knowing Shaq, he get wind or something like this. You know, the kid may or may not want to wear Shaq shoes, but Shaq ain't going ain't gonna let uh, Shaq got ownership in Reebok now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's on, he's on he's on, he's with Reebok at the moment. Yeah, so yeah, Shaq can hook him up. Um I'm looking forward to seeing that actually. I ain't putting Shaq on no timer or nothing like that, but yeah, yeah. Um I'm looking forward to seeing that when once once he hears about this, I'm pretty sure he'll jump in now. But yeah, yeah shout yeah, out yeah. to Under Armour. And, and Puma, Puma for looking out for this kid, bro. 6'10, size 23, 14 years old. I mean, does he play NFL? He plays football, yes. Yeah, yeah, he plays yeah, yeah, yeah. American football. Um, yeah, like what, what be he's gonna be a beast. And in, in if he if he graduates and, and makes the NFL, he's going to be a beast, bro. Well, he's 14 and he's 16, he's a tank. he ain't done growing yet. Yeah, I know he's gonna be a tank. Hopefully, I'm the gonna, question I'm is with... with kids like like this. The question is most of the time coordination and balance. Yeah, like because when you're growing at such a fast rate at such a young age, you have to catch up with your own body. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some people end up being uncoordinated because the 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 difference between being five something and six something in such a short period of time can can throw people off yeah you, you can learn you can re-coordinate um i think that there's a uh, one of our famous footballers in, in liverpool football club was G- stephen gerrard probably a legend of the club now um he he grew quite fast in his tweet when he was 20, 19 20 and 21 um it kind of um had an influence in his joints and bones when he when he's growing so basically yeah. he kind of was injured quite a lot so that that's something to look out for but yes um it's going to be interesting to track uh, track this career what's the what's the what's the guy's name oh 
Yeah, because like it's going to be interesting to track his career and see what happens with it um, and see how far he goes. But yeah, they, uh, hopefully he has a good big future in, in, ahead of him and it'll be quite interesting to see. Uh, Eric, er, er, you know, so his first name's Eric. I need to work out his last name. I'm trying to but, find yeah. the last name. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find it. We we'll, we'll probably won't find it. Eric Kilburn. Junior, Eric Kilburn, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, go if you guys want to monitor his career, let's just see what happens in the, to him in the next six years because it'll be quite interesting if he keeps up with the NFL. But he's already uh, like it sounds like he's already got some sort of he potentially will have some sort of deal with uh Puma New Balance. Go, go, yeah. Through, like, um, I mean, hopefully, he can he can um parlay this into, into some um good for himself. Like, this is. I think this is an opportunity to turn an awkward sit- situation into um, something positive for the future. Like I think he should, he should lean into this, um, whether it be from an athletic standpoint or a business standpoint. Like I could, I could, I can kind of see this as an entryway into the sneaker game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But um, the the negative part of the story before we close it off, one Nike rep told her. <laughs> the only way you have a size 22 is if it was made for a pro athlete and they didn't use them and ended up back in circulation. So Nike declined to help this family. And that's very, 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 very disappointing. Yeah. It, it, there was a potential for them to actually do like pu- public um, imagery. So basically to make a positive impact into this, into this, child's life and they should have made it some chicago's bro. or some you know what i mean make it's make good publicity some, it, it's make good them publicity. some air force ones make them some blazers make them some you know what i'm saying yeah d- unfortunately um so, so good publicity is always the best publicity and to make a shoe and to make a mold obviously to make a 23 size mold or us 23 mold is going to be quite expensive so probably they don't want to yeah. actually do that yeah. but, but Still, the pub from this bro yeah, I know. Positive and push, this that um, that Puma and Under Armour is getting right now. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Let's 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 ignore the negative side because obviously it didn't work out. But let's concentrate on the positive side, which is Puma and Under Armour doing their thing for this 14 year old. And I, I said this young kid because both basically, even though he's taller than us, bigger than us. He's literally still a kid, and you got to remember he sh- all through his struggles. He's gonna remember that for the rest of his life. Some yeah. Under Armour and Puma came out and helped me um, with all the issues. So shout out to Puma and Under Armour. That's the best story today, bro. That's hundred percent a really really dope story. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, let's keep the donors going. CBS oh. News reports a buckhead. Business owner gives one million dollars in designer sneakers to underprivileged children. Oh, this is similar to what Miss what Mr. Beast did um, to the kids in was it South Africa? Was it South Africa? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Dope, dope, dope. This is what this is stuff we like to hear. You know what? I'm going to say this. Shout to Kanye when he went to uh, Africa and donated all those white uh, white Yeezy three fifties. Or triple white easy three fifties to the kids there. Yo, this is what we love to see. The excellence, like people donating to charities, two people donating to people that, that less misfortunate. It's about bringing all of the people up, all bringing all of the um um excellence back into the whole in whole world. Because basically, we some of us are more fortunate than others, and sometimes it's good to give to the less fortunate to kind of keep progressing and keep making sure they're okay. Keep looking up on our fellow human beings because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, bro. We, we can, we can take that success to the grave and, um, and it'll be for nothing because if you give back, it's so much more, it's so fulfilling. It's so, so fulfilling. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Patrick Carroll, man. Mm-hmm. Boys and girls club um, in, in Miami, Tampa and Atlanta. Um, man, doing big things, man, for the underprivileged. Hey. So, so he put up, <laughs> he put up in the armor truck. In the sneakers, man. Hey, we put up in the armor truck full of sneakers. Ah, oh, that's dope. That's absolutely dope. Absolutely dope, bro. All right, moving on to the next quick strike. 
Quick strike. Okay, cool. And next up on the radar is the summer lineup for Jordan. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at some of these sneakers and um, what we're gonna actually purchase, or what you will be purchasing, what I will be purchasing, and what we actually speak about is. So the summer jo summer jo summer Jordan lineup is here and it's here to stay. First first couple. Uh, I just messed up. First couple is. Um, we get the Celtics and the black washed. Um, I think they're both dope. I, I like the pe Celtic pair, Jordan ones, highs. I think I'm going to go in for those. Yeah, I like the Celtics. I like the black wash more if they were uh, a different Darker. color, though. You reckon? Oh, you like the pink wash as well, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that, that's the first two pairs. Uh, absolutely dope. They're coming out in, um, I think they might be coming out this month. Hopefully. Let's just see what happens with that. Yeah. The um, next up. team for the Celtic. Yeah. Next up is the craft ones. Uh, we've already went into that. Don't worry about that. Let's just Trash. ignore that. And <laughs> next up is <laughs> next up is a pink wash. Yeah, pink wash is up. I, I do. That's a yeah, fine one. Yeah. Um. Then we got some lows coming up, which is um. I don't know what the top one is. And it looks like a OGX. craft low. Um. Okay. OGX. I don't like this OGX. It's okay. I want. I'm looking forward to see what the customizers do with it. Yeah. And the I'm, cement lows, I don't like. I like them. I, I like them, but I'm not a low guy. I'm, I'm pretty sure um, E would want it or Cam would want it. They definitely want that. But it's a dope, it's dope, it's dope sneaker. Um, oh, keep pressing the wrong button. Sorry, guys. Um, and then um, uh, following that is um, twos. Twos are more glorious twos. I don't like the pink twos. I do like the cherry woods. I don't like yeah. the neutral grays, but they aren't horrible. You, you know what would be dope if that cherry woods were actually highs? Don't be too much like the Chicago, in my opinion. Really? It's a bit, sort of that red colorway, the cherry wood colorway on it. Well, okay, I understand that. Yeah, because the white, the, the alternate Chicago, the white and red with the gray, yeah, I think yeah, it'd be yeah, too yeah. similar to that. I think that's coming out this year as well. <clears throat> yeah. I heard. Yes. I heard. All right, cool. Throw two bangers of 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 sneakers we're getting um the, obviously the pine green threes which are coming out this week and the wizard threes bro bro i told you freeze up hey? the pine greens look better they do look better but i still want both <laughs> i never seen these two these two sneakers next to each other like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the pine greens look better than the wizards yeah, um, unfortunately the pine greens is a women's exclusive, but I'm still gonna go in. I'm still want. I still want that pair. That that those um those pine greens are so threes. Cool. I think threes. Uh, right now in my sneaker journey, threes are fighting with fours for that number two spot. That's a good shout. That's a brilliant shout. And you know what? I'm leaning towards the threes. Threes, they somewhat. I told you this is a secret. No, 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 no. Hold up. What did we talk about last week? What did we talk about last week? The secret push. The secret push. No, 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 no. This ain't got nothing. Two things can be true now. Two things can be true. I'm talking about my personal, my personal taste. Cause I know I, I, I know I said to myself, I said to myself uh, at some point during this past week, I said I'm doing threes and fours all summer. Yep, yep. Threes, fours, and ones. I'm I mean ones gonna always kind of find their way in the rotation, right? Yeah. But I have to do threes and fours this summer because you can't really do threes and fours like that in the winter, in my opinion. Yep. Like the yeah. tinker, the tinker threes, you know, because they all suede and hot. But like I said, I'm, I'm doing threes and fours, and I just, I just started thinking about it. Like, damn, because I want to, I really want to wear my threes. The threes that I wear, yeah. the ones I got that I, that I'm not thinking about or haven't already got rid of, is like I need to wear these shoes and I'm, these folds. Then I start thinking about the folds. Is like, wait a minute, which, which. Ah, ah. <laughs> the question, right, the question for you, bro, is I'm a man year three or I'm a man year four? Three. Yeah. See, this is what I'm like this is what I'm leaning towards a three more. I, I think the three the four is so uh, underrated. Hey? The four is so underrated though. No, 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 no. I, I think the four is 
it's super hyped at the moment, and I, I'm enjoying the hype. I'm jo- enjoying the fall. Oh, uh, you mean I'm oh, a new? Yeah, 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 I'm a new. You got to take. You got to take it outside. Did you put? Did, nah, you put cream laces in your threes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to do sail laces in the fours, bro. I wasn't. I wasn't on it at first, but once I did it. <laughs> it was oh. over. It was out of here. It was out of here. Um, I'm, the reason why, the reason, like, cool. We wouldn't get the plethora of sneakers that we're seeing at this moment in time if Jordan Brown wasn't pushing it for the 35th anniversary and doing the secret push for it with the Jordan Free. But I'm enjoying this. It is so such. No, it's your bro. It's just, no, it's not. It's not a secret push. It's just a push. It's just a. It's just a release more sneakers because of thirty fan thirty fifth anniversary, and also keep releasing sneakers because so, people are buying yeah. them. And, and and this is what I'm joined. But the thing is, with the threes, they're more likely to sit than the than the fours are because the fours will sell out because they're, they're super hype. But the threes still sit, and it's so magnificent to see because you can go in the shop and you can go and pick them up, and you can go and feel them, you can go smell them, you can go wear them, you can try them out, and you can take them home, and you can and you can put them in your you put them next to you in your bed and sleep with them and all that stuff. I think it depends on the colorway. Most of most of the three colorways hit, and both of these are gonna hit. So mm-hmm. I don't expect I don't expect to see. I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't expect to see either one. Disclaimer, of these, especially that pine, that pine green, bro. That is, that's, Yo. that's that's crazy. It's a green yeah, this, cement. The disclaimer it's a is green black cement. Disclaimer it's, it's is fine. if you live. If disclaimer being, if you live outside the UK, if you live outside the states, then it most likely will slit, sit slightly, so you will got yeah, more yeah. of a chance to pick them up. But but um, in the states, it can sell out. Like, but the pine yeah, 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 yeah. that, yo, bro. The more I look I at that pine green, them, yeah. yeah. The more I look at that pine, no, the, the wizards will because it's more close to the true true blue that we ever seen. Because it's it, it could have been a true blue, but it's got more of a brown accent to the jump man and the bottom as well. The true blue is more bluey than the true no, the. the the wizard's colorway is more lighter blue than the true blues, but this is still dope, bro. Um, the like pine green, the more I see it, the more I just want it. And that's the yeah, thing about the pine crazy. green. Um, it's but crazy. that pine green is bro. But wouldn't it be wouldn't it be funny if, <laughs> if uh, a month a month before the release of the wizards, they actually release they say we will get we'll be getting the true blues in the next six to six months to a year. <laughs> it's happened before. Cardinals, cardinals. We're going to talk about We're going to talk about that. Okay. Next up is another two bangers for this month. It's the, it's the Thunders. It's the, it's the Thunders are coming back to Jordan 4 Thunders and the Craft 5s. Both, both sneakers, which I'll be going in for. I'm looking forward to seeing the Craft 5s in hand with the material blocking on that sneaker because I'm, I'm, I'm expecting high things from that. I'm definitely expecting high things from that. I like the foes. I ain't going for the other one of them, though. Next up is the Toro Bravo 6. <laughs> And um, and it was that the infrared seven. Yeah, yeah. I like this. I like the sixes. I like the seven. The sevens clean. They clean. Yeah, with the right I, I fit, they clean. Tempted. The black, um, the black booty is kind of throwing me off. But I, I understand. You know, I mean, it's 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 the the white infrared six colorway. I think yeah. they they played it off cool with the the, the translucent outsoles. You know. They had to do that. So I, I like that. I, I do get it too. Um, and finally, you got so obviously we got the two 11s. I was just snake skin yellow 11, and then obviously the with the with that cool gray low, yeah, 11. Yeah, it came out yesterday. It's sitting small size is sold out because young people love the 11 low. Yeah, 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 yeah. They love I, it so. All all the big sizes were like from nine and a half on up was all available, but all the small sizes gone. I think I think the younger sneakheads are definitely into those eleven lows as well. Um, yeah, they love not that they don't like the IEs, which is the true OG, but they love those eleven lows. Yeah. Okay. Next up is um the black flints, which I'm definitely getting. I'm um, gonna go with my red flints and my original flints, and the black flints are dope. Um, yeah, I got and you got the uh, pool for for the the 13s i like the laney's but the laney 14s yeah i might try i might try just to to set them just to set them up with the toro 
Yeah, I was about to say, he's going to go well with the Toro 14s because uh, those are dope. But those are the summer releases, guys. Um, uh, well, some of the summer releases because we haven't seen no collaborations. We're hearing rumours about a lot of things, but we'll see what happens with that because there is a well, lot of... stuff popping up, man. There's a lot of stuff popping up. But um, that was the summer releases. Let, let us know what you think about them. Let us know what you're actually going to purchase. There is still a lot of heat coming up. I've been, I have think a lot of people have been more selective, which is good because it means you just get the sneakers that you really want. Um, and not kind of um, because cost of living is up, so it is it is expected. But this is why sneakers are sitting. So uh, it's going, it's always going to be what it's going to be. Um, and mm-hmm. unfortunately, you can't stop what it's going to be. But um, next quick strike of this session is is um, Hasbulla signed to Jordan Brand, bro. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Um... He just he just started popping up. I don't know if it worked like that for probably did work like that for everybody else. Like for yeah. everybody that didn't know who he was already. He just started uh, popping up everywhere on my timeline, bro. And I'm like, where is this little dude coming from? I ain't never heard of him. All of a sudden he he everywhere. Yeah. Doing content. No, but- uh getting getting um Sponsors seem seem like sponsorship opportunities everywhere. Yep. Like he got every shoe. <laughs> I mean, I ain't never heard of this guy. Like, where did he I come from? I, I love it. I love it. Um, I I I've I'm pretty new to him. I've seen him around for the last couple of years and he's grown and grown. But it's good to see. Like, it's good to see that um Jordan Brand, Nike are still kind of getting some influences in and getting some uh, input in. He's always obviously signed for Jordan Brand. Do you think he's going to have a, sh- a a run of um uh a regular releases or ch- kids releases or I mean, would you, would, would you... I don't see why not everything. If, <laughs> if we're going to do it. Do it for if we're going to do it. I mean, listen, we're talking about the company that does sneaker collaborations with Children's Hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why not, bro? I'm I'm intrigued to see what he's gonna bring to the table. I really am. I want to see what he's gonna bring to the table. I'm gonna see what he's gonna Hopefully gonna. It's dope, uh, whatever buy. it is. Cause yeah, it's, yeah, he got every sneaker that he can get in his size. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know, like what what, and that that logo is nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I might they might can, it might not really that. be real. They can do the that. Can, that. I mean, that's okay, but they can do that if 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 they wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Yep, they yep, can yep. do whatever with him. It's good. They to can see. do everything uh, I, I, with him. They, not, not whatever. They can do everything with him. Commercials. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Sneakers, apparel. They can do everything with him, bro. It went. Mad. And I. And I think this is um, Nike's way of basically trying to get into the um, social element or social media element, because especially with TikTok and stuff like that, TikTok and Instagram and all that stuff, where they they are now investing um, in money in influencers. I would say because they're they're getting people that are actually influenced in the in a subculture and trying to promote them as a brand ambassador or signing deals with them so they can kind of push that narrative and it kind of give, it brings a bit more. Um, uh, not hype, but it brings a bit more tension to Nike as well through that through that whole environment. Because we know Obsidian ones were hype because of TikTok. We know pandas are hype because of TikTok. And I think Nike sitting there kind of really does understand that environment. Hey. So what what, hey. what would you do? He's fire and squad. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. Well, yeah, but it's definitely definitely a dope thing to see. Definitely a dope thing to see. But uh, next quick stripe. Quick strike on this. You like that sound effect, bro? It's moving on to the next quick strike. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go. The next quick strike is um something from Off White and more Off Whites. We're going to see, bro. Which is this new Off White uh, showcase? <sighs> it's um, yeah, the sheed, the like Air Force One mid sheed. What do you reckon, bro? This is this is great. Um, this is the cleanest one I've seen so far. It's comparable to the green one. I mean, yep. it's just it's a, it's one being one hundred, all the way one hundred. Yep. <laughs> this is a black version of the green one with a different logo on the heel. Yep. 
and uh, pandas. Bruh, it's the she. <laughs> stop, stop, man. Stop doing that, bro. <laughs> you perpetuate way, bro. no, this you perpetuating <laughs> the foolishness is what you're doing. I'm just just because you, everything <laughs> black and white is not a panda now, okay? <laughs> but uh nah, this 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 dope, man. I mean, we saw it um at the exhibit, and I said that like some of these look like they can go into production right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Hopefully, a lot more of them silhouettes that we saw on the exhibit will also go into production. I knew this was coming. We got the green one, and now we got the sheet. They could do multiple colorways of the sheet. They could do the blue sheet. They could do red. They could yeah, do white and oh, black bro. instead of black bro, bro, bro. and white. Stop that thought. Red and white sheets. And the yeah. Air Force One mid. Bro, if you All like red. It, well, she wore highs. That's the only thing about it that yeah. um, you know, kind of diminishes the, the 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 thing in general about yep. the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Is that he wore highs, but it's off white, so whatever. And I, <laughs> I love, I love, I love the. What if they put the hang strap? What if they put the hanging strap on the mid? Yeah, I would have did think- that. I would have put the hanging strap like the hot on the mid. Yeah, that, that looks actually dope. Um, uh, it's good to see because uh, people that complain that they couldn't get off whites back in the days, you still can get off whites, but obviously you have to. Yeah, you, <laughs> you can get these. <laughs> you <laughs> might not be able to get these sheets, but if you wanted the first one, the white and the black, you could have got them. Yeah, you, they're still. Uh, to me personally, they're still a dope colorway. They dope, they dope, dope, um, dope concept, dope colorway, dope execution, got dope design. Some people don't like it. Some people do. They're like everybody's flavor is not going to be the same. So yeah. from that, from that aspect alone. If you want it, you can get it. That's it, simple. But moving on again to another quick strike, bro. I love that sound effect. I'm glad I put that sound effect. Is is uh, (laughs) Curry, Curry, uh, Steph, Steph Curry. What was Curry Irving? Steph Curry is um, got a lifetime contract with Under Armour. Shout to Steph Curry for that. Absolutely awesome to see, bro. Awesome, successful story. Steph Curry is the man, bro. Exactly, greatest shooter right. of all time, greatest uh, one of the greatest uh, NBA ambassadors mm-hmm. to ever play the game. Um, squeaky clean, yeah, always no, professional, I, I, and will stab you in the bottom of your foot and cut your Achilles tendon, <laughs> grab you by the throat with one arm while jabbing you in the chest with the same knife that he just cut your feet up with <laughs> while the basketball game was going on. Like it's, it don't make no sense. And Paul, I'm going to pause, pre-pause myself. It don't make no sense how adorable this dude is to see, you know what I'm saying? When he does interviews, when he does content, commercials, everything that he does he looks like just your best friend. You know what I'm saying? He looks well, like I'm the saying, best. Well, he looks I'm, like one of the best people you could ever be friends with. He's a unless he's you play killer. basketball. He's a, ki- <laughs> he's a killer in the in the, in the, in the, in the court, bro. He's a killer this in the court. Dude, like he's so nasty, bro. But, uh, you know what? Let me just say, do you like watching? The videos where he's he's kind of free pointing out the court on the in the stands and bro, bro the, the, some of the videos are crazy. This I guy don't. is so accurate, bro. That's what I'm saying. Accurate. I don't like I don't like none of that. I don't like none of that stuff, bro. I don't. I love it because I love it. He having so much fun and uh, but when you but when we, your team when bro. your team no this this is a no this is a basketball thing okay because yeah. I'm a Hawks fan right. <laughs> and I don't care about nobody else's team. Trey, you're Trey, bro. Right? I don't like I don't like nobody else's team except mine. But I'm not <laughs> I'm not biased to the point where I don't recognize what's Greatness, going yeah. on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, this this dude, bro, he just too, he too good. <laughs> he didn't did this before. <laughs> do, do you, okay. I'm I know I know Curry, uh, Steph Curry is quite uh, quite um 
into his prime of his basketball at this moment in time. So we can't say he's the next up and comer because obviously he's been around since LeBron's No, he's been around. the man. He's the he's man. He's been the man, the man for years now. Yeah, no, I know. This is what I'm saying. So we can't. <laughs> he's been we the can't man say, for like six years. You know yeah, ex- exactly. We can't say he's <laughs> the upper comer. He's a new thing, new that, new this because he's been there. But, but he's he, Steph Curry's going to go down in in history, bro. In as yeah. one of the legendary he's the greatest players. shooter of all time. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Now, bro. like st- statistically, every time he makes a three pointer, it's a record. <sighs> for, this until guy, he stopped playing. You can only marvel at the fact of what he's done so far. It's just like you can marvel at LeBron and Kobe and Jordan and um, it's just like all LeBron. the legends. Every time LeBron yeah. scores, it's a new record. Every time Curry Bro. hit a three, and he he, he might not record. catch LeBron, depending on how long he play. But yeah. uh, every time he hit a three, it's a new record. Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to Steph Curry for, for that lifetime contract. It's well deserved. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to elevate a new, uh, Under Armour, hopefully in the next... Future in the future in the next 10 15 years, let's see what happens with that. Because could you imagine Joe, Steph was with Nike? Oh my god, he was though. Hyper Did he wear the hyper dunks? He wore the hyper dunks for a little while. I'm talking, I'm saying he... if he got a shoe, yeah, bro, 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 it would be, bro, it, would be it would be so crazy. You know what? Then, then that truly means Nike's monopolized. Nike's monopolized. No, the bro, NBA. no, bro. I just thought about like Giannis, Durant, Kyrie, yeah. Luca, Tatum. Ain't none of these guys on Steph level, bro. You know what? You know what Nike would and be Giannis, doing after Giannis is arguably the best basketball player in the world right now. And yeah, he ain't no Steph Curry level. I know. Bro, uh, but but imagine if they had Steph Curry. This is what Nike would be doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, they they would, they actually would be. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, Steph, Yo, Steph Curry, shout to Steph Yo, Curry. Wow, imagine, 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 imagine the Steph and LeBron commercial. The, that one yeah, year when bro. they dropped this shoe at the same time. All right. Oh and next, next, next quick strike is um, another one that we're going to quickly run through. Um, it is um, uh, we just we just covered that. What do you think about um, the term "bread," bro? Because okay. um, Jerry Lorenzo came out this week and said, "No OGs use the term bread, black and red." Okay. Hash, okay. That's a cap. Bro. Okay. So this is the same conversation as the brand name nickname conversation. Yeah. Does it matter? No, no. <laughs> you, you, you can call it what you want to call it, but but so, the thing so, is but... from 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 the OG perspective, I can understand the straightening of it. Yeah. But we we didn't hear that. What uh, you know what you know what you know what I don't like about this? I'm gonna tell you, I, I respect Jerry Lorenzo, but what I don't like about this is gatekeeping. It's 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 um sneaker sneaks sneaker snobbery. Because the, yeah. basically basically you're saying that anybody that's calls a sneaker bread, and just be honest, let's be honest, bro. We call Jordan for black cement bread because they're predominantly black more, more, more black and cementish than bread. But we call Jordan ones the black and red breads. Yeah. How are you going to allude to the fact that anybody that calls that Jordan one a bread is not an OG? Like that's 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 to me is prime gatekeeping. That to me is prime sneaker snobbery because you can't just sit there and say, "Yo, if you think if you call a sneaker bread, you're not an OG." That's cap, bro. And that's so much. There's so much cap that yo, Jerry Lorenzo, you're getting this. I don't care. You're getting a red red card sneaker 
for that absolute statement. That's horrible. You can't say to me that you you never sat there and called a black and red sneaker bread because you probably did in when you were younger. But like, it doesn't matter. You can call, you can call it you can call it a black and white. I don't care. You can call it a panel. You can call it anything you want. You call a sneaker what you whatever you want to call it. We terminology we use terminology uh, for sneaker colorways because we just want to call them something easy and quick. So. And they're stuck. And most, most like like the crimson. Even though I don't like to admit the Jordan Four Crimsons are called the Red Thunders, they're still called the Red Thunders in terms of the terminology. See that that term was rejected by the culture. Yeah, of course it was. Red Thunder was rejected because and Nike and Jordan Brand recognized it, I think, and they yeah. promptly proceeded to uh, start production on the actual Thunder Four. <laughs> you know what I'm saying because we go colorway crazy. Like that's always my argument when we talk about nicknames and um, you know, brand names. When the brand names it a colorway, mm-hmm. that's when you call it that colorway. If not, we tend to make up a nickname. You know what yep, I'm saying? Yep, yep. I've always leaned towards what the brand calls it except for OG sneakers that have a nickname for prime example, the Jordan 13, he got game. It's yep. called yeah, yeah. the Jordan 13 In he black, got white gym red. No, yep. it's called the black, white gym, black, red. white gym red, but we call it the <laughs> he got game. But there's, there's, there's a meaning behind it because we call it. The right. He because we associated with the, the movie. movie. Exactly Rightfully that. so. So the sneaker is attached to that moment in culture where everybody wanted to see this this basketball movie with Ray Allen and Denzel Washington. Yeah, and because it's out. synonymous to that movie. It's, it's, right. it's associated to that, that was movie. The, that was the moment where that sneaker, that that was the shining moment for the, for the Jordan 13. It was the new yeah. silhouette, the first colorway, and it came out in this movie and everybody saw it and was like, oh my days. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and and then we got to remember if it wasn't for the movies, will we will we be talking about the Hugo games like we were talking about the Hugo games? Potentially not. It would have been another white black colorway. No, it still still would have been. No, yeah, it still would have been iconic. It still would have been absolutely iconic. Absolutely, like we wouldn't call it Hugo game. We wouldn't call it Hugo games, but everybody, everybody kind of re-emphasizes that sneaker because of that movie. The Hugo games. You call it Chicago. Ain't yeah. no telling. It, I, it may or may not have received a nickname. But more than likely, I feel like it would have because all the OGs, we either call it by the primary, not even the primary color, because the Fire Red 5 is black, white, and Fire Red. Yeah. Why do we call it the Fire Red 5? Because Nike calls it the Fire Red 5. five it come, yeah. came out on sneakers, it said Fire Red. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> when the when the Crimson 4 came out, it said Crimson. The internet and the bloggers and the influencers tried to name it Crimson and it got rejected. I mean, uh, tried to name it Red Thunder and it got rejected. Yeah. Mock-up artists yeah. tried to name it Red Thunder and it got rejected. Rejected. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my, my verdict on this type of talk is the culture changes. And yep. sometimes you have to roll with it. We know what you talk when you say black and red Jordan one high. We know what you're talking about. We know you're talking yep. about the bread. And when you say yep. bread, we know you're talking about the black and red Jordan one high. It's synonymous. Right. It's a nickname. You don't have to say it, but you don't have question. to diss people that do. Quick, quick question for you, right? Anybody that's watching this, going to the sneakers app. And search the patent bread once. What was Nike's name for it? Patent bread. Black and red, yeah? I think it was, was patent bread. A... Okay. So this is why I... if it was called a patent bread, and Q, I know you're doing a background search for this. If it was called a patent bread, bro, Jerry Lorenzo, take that red bread sneaker and, and live with it because at the end of the day, you just capped yourself massively. Because if Nike's calling it bread, who are you to talk, t- tell us what to call it or what not to call it? That's what I'm saying, bro. Because if the official company, if it's officially coming from Jordan brand, 
and he's sitting the sneakers out and they're calling it bread. Yo, it is what it is. You just capped yourself. Yeah. Am I right, bro? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's a moot point. Like, I don't think that's really worth a, a, a fuss. You know what I'm saying? No, of course it's not. Oh. Guys, call whatever sneaker you want to call it. You live with it, love it, like it, whatever. Don't let anybody gatekeep for you because at the end, at the end of the day, um, burn down no. the barn. No gatekeeping. I, it may not have been called Pan Bread. Okay, guys, do the research. Let us know um, because I will probably do the research after this podcast. The nickname is definitely Pan Bread, though. Yeah. So, nickname so what does what does what does Jerry call the Pan Bread? That's the question. <laughs> the pattern black and red. You know, bro, that's a, that's a mouthful. The pattern black and black and red. Just call it bread. The pattern black and red. Bro, don't just, no, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand that. That's, that's, that's total capping, bro. Like, come on now. You just, you know what? This is what I said last week about um, being controversial for the sake of it. So you people get your name on your mouth. And that, that, that's, that, that's that whole uh, identity of this situation. So, you, uh, you know, Jerry, you live, that, with that, live with that red card sneaker um, and love it because people will call, what, call it whatever you want to call it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. At the end of the day, you're not even with Jordan Brand. You're with not Adidas. So live there at the right. end of the day. I'm just going to say, uh, we've got two more quick strikes quickly. And the next uh, next up is rumors with the SPs, guys. Uh, actually, not rumors with SPs. Let's talk about this because we, we came with a Jordan MVP um, uh, the other day uh, and the, we were talking about we were talking about the colorways that come with a Jordan MVP. Um, I actually got rid of it from my screen, but give me two seconds I'll bring it back up. Uh, the Jordan MVP, like it's starting to grow on me and I kind of start starting to understand it, but I don't think I want it. Um, but it's it's definitely interesting to what they see, what we're seeing with the s- silhouettes and the sneakers. As you can see, there's six different colorways that, from the Jordan MVP 678. If you don't know the Jordan MVP, uh, the MVP sneaker is basically the MVP um, colorways for the for the six and seven and eight that Michael Jordan won the championship rings in the first three rings or the first three feet. And they've combined it into one sneaker. It's, it's going to be another hybrid sneaker, just like the 312 and the Spears Ikes. And every other hybrid sneaker they've done, like the six rings and stuff like that. So looking looks like we're getting a wrap to color an olive colorway, a more of a Chicago-ish colorway, a pink colorway that's probably going to be a ladies exclusive white and pink, a uh, race of blue colorway and, and more of a um, mocha kind of vibe colorway, which is the bottom right. Um, so this is the sixth way potentially seeing. What's your thoughts, bro, quickly? Don't rush my thoughts. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I should never tell you to go. go <laughs> no. <Nah, okay. laughs> so the 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 Toronto the the quote unquote OG colorway of this uh, six seven eight. Mm-hmm. All all these colorways are cool. Yep. However, I in my opinion, no disrespect to anybody that buys any of these sneakers because I know I will see them on feet as soon as they release once I go outside. <laughs> I, I, I promise you I'll see them on release day I know I will if I go if I stay outside long enough I will see them on release day I promise you on feet um at at the mall uh, yeah. <laughs> uh these colorways are wasted do you reckon on 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 the actual um on the actual um silhouette? All these colorways would be dope on the six, or seven, or eight individually, not all together. I was going to say <laughs> that, bro. Uh, like I, I would, would like love to, to see would... a royal blue eight, a, a, a racer blue eight. Yep, or yep, yep, yep. A, a, a Toronto six, a, a green and gold seven. A, you a, read my mind. A white you and did pink read my eight. mind. You know what I'm saying? A tan, a tan and brown Jordan Six or Jordan not a six, because they'll call it poor man Travis. A tan yeah. and brown seven, because we got we got the Rui eight. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These colorways could have been used on proper silhouettes, proper signature silhouettes. I, I tend to, I'm leaning with you. I, I, I was thinking that myself because I was, for my thought process, I was thinking um, that would have been dope in, on, a, on an actual OG car, OG sneak silhouette, like a six or a seven or eight. I, I think I think that olive six would look dope 
Um, I was, I think the Racer Blue Eight will look dope. There's a lot. There's a lot they could do with this, but um, maybe it's just maybe it's just them kind of designing a a new hybrid to look different to see what the reaction is because some some people start picking this up. We might see that colorway transfer onto a a people are gonna buy it. OG. People are gonna buy. It. I'm gonna be honest. My my girlfriend sent me this, and she said to me she likes the the Raptor colorway top left. And the top right, um, she likes. She likes. She, she thinks both of them are dope. She even all likes the. the ways look good because it got a six the, bottom and an eight side. Yeah, this dope. Like, I mean, I, I want to like it. <laughs> I want to like it. I want to. I want to like it. But there's something. Like, it's just a pure. It's a purest nah, to me. I'm, a, I'm, snobbing, a this. Me. I'm snobbing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm snobbing this. Yeah, I'm snobbing this. Straight there's up. something there's something about it there's something about it i want to like about it it's just the the creativity the in in you uh, innovation of this design it looks dope i like i just i just nah, the purest of me would I'm the purest of me would rather man. get like i want these colorways on the silhouettes that i know and i agree and i agree with I you i don't know this I silhouette i don't love this silhouette it's not horrible. I mean, it's not the worst thing they've done. Put it like that. They've done worse. It's the six, the six bottom, and the eight side is saving it. That's the only thing that's really saving it. The rest of it, yeah. You know, this is my opinion. It's okay though. Right. People gonna buy yeah. them. People gonna rock them. Shout out to them. Right, uh, yeah. Shout out to you guys. Uh, th- yeah, just to see what happens. I actually want to see this in hand. Like, I'm p- probably going to go to the shop and see it in hand. But let's just see what happens with it. Yeah, touch it, feel it, smell it. Um, all of those stuff. So that's a new. That's the new cat. That's a new advert for us. Touch it, feel it, smell it. You the sneakers you like because the sneakers you want. That that's a good advert, bro. Um, next up is uh, another quick track. <laughs> another quick track is this. Um, this beauty of a sneaker. It looks like this. This has obviously come out the rumors of of um uh what do you call it April Fools. This is like a military blue version of the SPs. This is not definitely coming out, but we're talking about SPs, uh, guys. Whatever you're seeing on screen, the military blue SPs is not coming out. That's that's confirmed. But we, I'm hearing a black cat SPs are definite. I'm hearing bread SPs are definite. And I'm talking about skateboarding. Uh, sh- um, we, you know the SP um pine greens we just recently got. What um the fact of the fact that we're seeing a black cat and a bread. Um, Jordan Four SB. That's gonna be that's gonna be dope to see once once we can see the pictures. Then we're gonna reimagined uh Jordan Four next year with all all leather. That's another thing that's happening. So it looks like we're getting some more OG colorways coming our way, bro. And then the bread is going to be saturated. Uh, that let's just be honest. The Jordan Four bread is one of the most beautiful colorways ever in history, and they they are going to bring two new releases, SB and a reimagined. In the next you year, the, uh, you mean the black cement force? The black, no, sorry, the, the black, yeah, the black cement force. What I'm talking about, sorry, but that's a black, the black cement freeze. Sorry, <laughs> no, that went see, see, this, is, this, is, this is what it. This, this is why I don't want to call it black cement. I want to call it the bread force because I'm used to saying the bread force. Allow <laughs> <laughs> you, just Jerry Lorenzo. You got me confused. Yeah, no, I'm just force. messing with you, bro. <laughs> the bread force. <laughs> nah, the bread uh, force. I don't. I ain't. I. I don't believe nothing. Yeah. I ain't believing nothing I, till I see it, till I see it uh, materialize and also pop up. I know, so I know, I, I know somebody that's, I know somebody that's seen the black cat, uh, black cat fours, um, SPs. I know somebody that's seen the black, yeah, Bird to Sandy, Bird uh, SPs. I mean, uh, Eric Costin seen them. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I know but, somebody that's seen them too. <laughs> yeah, no, no, in, 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 our, in our community, I know somebody, somebody has actually seen them. So I'm okay. excited to see them. I'm excited to see them, see what happens. With there, them. I, there um, I say Cap. I don't know who you're talking about. Don't even tell me who you're talking about. Cap. I'll tell you after this. I'll tell. I'll tell you after this. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's gonna be beautiful to see if if it, if they do release Jordan Four Breads uh, reimagined and um, uh, SB. It's gonna be beautiful to see. Definitely beautiful to see. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I, I, bro, there's rumors that off white, off white birds. Imagine, bro, we get the trilogy. We just, we get all three of them. Like we get SP, SP breads fours. We get off white bread fours. We get reimagined bread for you. Can you imagine three Jordan four bread colorways coming out in the next year or two? That's crazy. That's magnificent. Come Let's on, cap. that. Let's cap. What? Uh. If, if, <laughs> I, we, we got one more quick strike before we move on to that subject, bro. But the, la- the last quick strike I want to discuss is um, something about the Union One. Um, we, we're hearing rumors about the Union One um, and um, 
I'm hearing from what I'm what I'm hearing. I don't know. I don't know how much cap this is. I'm hearing a lot that you won't be happy with with that. Like flying it. Like colorways not looking like he's no looking like this. Flying it. No, no, I'm just saying, just in general, like, like the Nigel Sylvester um, colorway on the flyknit on a union. So they're doing something different. It's not, it's not exactly like we, we're going to expect to see it, I think. Okay. So um, watch this space, guys. It's going to be quite interesting to see what union come up with the Jordan 1 um, silhouette. And um, it's not going to be like the same. I don't, I don't think it's ever going to touch the high regard we give that union one because that union one is absolutely beautiful like that's probably a grail sneaker for a lot of people but um it's going to be interesting to see what the union one is going to be look like i wouldn't expect what's, that nowhere because look what, at what happened to the foes yeah the you weren't foes, happy about the force no but aside from my my personal opinion on the way they look people went crazy for it and yeah. it ain't that. So, so to some people, it means a lot. To other people, it doesn't mean a lot. But I can understand that. I can definitely understand that. They brought so, like for me from it's, from it's not the young young one, bro. It don't matter. It's not a lot. A, a lot of stuff is not. It's okay that it's not. Yeah. But I mean, the twos. Like look at everything the union union has done since the ones. Nothing yeah. will ever be the ones because that was Union's introduction to <laughs> the, the, the community in full. You know what I'm saying? And it it's dope. Don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing out there like the Union one, which is why it 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 holds the place that it does. But no, Union can't do that unless they do that again. And even if yeah. they do it again, it's not going to... I don't think it'll have quite the same impact. It'll have the same yeah. hype initially, at least. It'll have the same hype unless they drop. You know what? That's all they can do is drop Union Ones in different colors that are built the same way. I, I think they eventually, I think they eventually might do that. They had a Chicago variation, they had a Shadow variation. I think they might do that. I mean, it'll be quite interesting to see if they do that. Um, but do you, do you think the Union One was the best ever collaboration for Union? That's the question. Yeah, because yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was a pinnacle. It was their pinnacle. The, the entry level to that sneaker was absolutely dope. Like the, to come to come with that kind of um, it's like with and classic design hip hop albums, bro. Yeah. A lot of artists have their first album because you've been preparing your whole life for your first album. Yeah, yeah. And when it come out dope and it reach classic level, classic status. Yep. Most artists can't live up to it. Even if what you do post your first album is great, most of the time that first album is held to such a standard that it, it wasn't the case for Travis. It wasn't yeah. the case for I'm on my year. Well, yeah, it was. It actually was the case for I'm on my year. Yeah, it's, the free that's the difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. The union collab is closer to the I'm on my year collab than it is to track because Travis caught more steam with the one than he did with the four. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. for Travis, the one, his second shoe, well, it was, it wasn't his, it was his second Jordan. It yeah, wasn't his second yeah. Nike. He had already done stuff with Nike. He, matter of fact, he had a Jordan before. He had the Jordan 33. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the Jordan 33. So it was actually his third Jordan <laughs> that brought him to the level that he is now. And it's because <laughs> it was a one. You know what I'm saying? But Union came straight in with the one. I'm on my year came straight in with the three. So nothing I'm on my year can do, in my opinion, and I think in the opinion of a lot of other sneakerheads, ain't nothing going to be better than the three until it is. Yeah. 
And the, 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 the thing is, sometimes the best is the best sneaker release collaboration is always the first one anyway. Like if you if you if you ever look at the history of collaborations, and over time, the more sneakers that release in that collaboration, it just drives the first price up because obviously this in higher regard. Not everybody can be not everybody can do what Kendrick's done with music in terms of releasing three platinum albums, and they all re- in high regard. So that it's quite hard. You to can kind of carry. I, you I, can. I you think, can. I think Union has though. You know what I'm saying? The the dunk is good. It, it's I'm I'm not saying that what they have produced since the one is like null and void. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm I can't put down anything that they didn't produce since then. The dunks were good, the fours were good, you know. So I only like the one colorway really of the fours, but um that's just my one opinion. You know what I'm saying? People love the Union Fours. I know that. I just don't like them. And that's I, that's I, fine. You know what I'm saying? The twos. The twos did well. People covet the twos not as much because they twos. But, yeah. you know, people love the stuff they do. I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say the Fours, Union Fours grew, grew on me like fine wine. Like, literally, I, I didn't really pay attention to them as much. And then... I, because I, because I was expecting the mock ups, the mock ups really messed it up for me. Um, yeah. But but then like over time, seeing it on feet, seeing it in real life, and seeing seeing people wear it, I got more respect from it. I, like I grew my respect for the sneaker grew more over time than it did when I officially saw it. But with the Union ones, when I first saw it, I just loved it. So that's the difference. It's it's yeah. like anything. Some some things grow on you. Some things like are an instant hit. So this is why you got to keep an open mind sometimes. But yeah, Union Four is dope. I, I you know what I'm gonna even say this. The Cortez Union is is dope. I I like the Cortez Union. I think is the colorways they use on it, the execution, the materials on it. I think it's dope. I do, I think it's dope. It's, I, it's just a Cortez, and uh, a lot of people didn't regard the sneaker highly enough to actually make it hype enough for people to buy. But I still respect the sneaker. I think it's a dope release. I think they did they did their work on that. Yeah. I mean that's all you can hope for, whether whether you exactly. like it or not. You know exactly. It's cool, and uh, you know I've seen some of the the Union Fours in hand, the Guavas, bro. Like I just like the Guavas, um, because the the Guavas made more sense to me aesthetically because it was more yep. uh, monochromatic. You know, it, it was all the colors were in line. It was just that that the outsole on the rest of them it just threw me off. But um, yeah. yeah. Shout out! Shout out to his union man. Like, definitely. Shout shout out to union. Keep keep keep. Whatever, whatever they bring, you know, whether I like it or not, I I, I never I never really hate on. And and what Q like and what Q always says: buy what you like, wear what you like, rock what you like. Don't care whatever people think. Yeah. But but on that main subject, time, bro. Main subject. So. <laughs> Adidas. Yes. The elephant in the room, bro, today. <laughs> assuming Black Lives Matter for three lines. Yeah, I three I, lines I, that stretch across the words Black Lives Matter at the bottom. Mm-hmm. 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 So Adidas want to take this to court. This is why. Adidas, Adidas, they just make bad decisions, bro. Yeah, yeah, a lot. And that's 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 going back to the movie too, um, because you know we know the situation with with yep. Jordan. You know, um, supposedly they didn't want to match Nike. Yep. Yep. Bro. That's a big loss. They should learn the lesson from that. That's a big loss. But I mean, come on, bro. You going going after Black Lives Matter, a company that's named after a, a, a alleged Nazi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's, 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 going let's, after. Let's not, let's, let's, not uh, uh, let's not deep dive into the histrionics of that. Let's just say. Let's just say it's not a really good. On, let, let's steer away from that sharply. No, bro, that's, that's what I think about. That's the, that's the, what the I history, think about when when I see this story based on based on what is over. The history on, on the, the, the three lines underneath the three words. And y'all talking about the logo that Peter Moore designed, by the way, the Adidas Mountain logo, where you see a little bit of one stripe 
a little more of the next one and more of the third one. The yeah. logo that Peter Moore designed for Adidas when he left Nike. Y'all comparing to three lines, three horizontal lines. Bro, come on, man. It's not it's not even in the same direction, bro. It's not even the same direction. Come on, it's man. Not, it's not long. Like, I, I don't understand that fully, but like um they withdrew they withdrew that real quick, bro. It, it, when it was announced, it withdrew that real quick on the same date. Uh it's not it's not a good look. Definitely not a good look um from Adidas, especially when they've just lost uh more they lost Kanye and especially when they just kind of uh, mutually agree to separate with Beyonce and then they go after Black Lives Matter. It's not a good look, bro. It's definitely not a good look. Um the whole whole histrionic behind Adidas, if you want to do the research, guys, go do the research. Um we, we're gonna forget that because we're just gonna go about a current narrative. It's not a good public look, bro, when you're going after a, a movement which is associated with um a very very, very cause that needs to be talked about because it's predominantly an issue in in our in our current environment um obviously racism racism is not good um and it should always be kind of fought against and um black lives matter even the the movement itself was associated with uh justice so you're going civil you're rights. fighting civil rights and justice you you're basically attacking civil rights and justice it's not a good look bro it's definitely not a good look but we'll save most of that for for the court because i've got my own thoughts on it i wish i would address in court but uh, bro it's not a good look definitely not a good look not a good look for adidas this week um i'm a bit disappointed that they actually came out if it was and the thing is you know it's true because they actually came up with a statement saying we've withdrawn any legal actions asap because we don't want any of that heat and unfortunately it was too late because everybody's got their own thoughts on it now and it's all in the public eye and um, your public view on your company at this moment in time is not looking good. So you need to go and uh, gonna pay, pay, kind of donate to Black Lives Matter. I think no, that's the best way to no, solve it. No, 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 Ain't no cleanup. Ain't no cleanup. Because... <laughs> <laughs> you said, bro, ain't ain't no way to not not get deep on this. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, we, we, we... on this because what you talking about? Ain't no, I don't want no apology. I don't like. Come on, bro. Yeah, come on, bro. You know what? Let's save it for court. Let's save it for court. This is this is one of our court cases today. Let's save this is, let's re- recap and save it for court because I want I wanna I wanna see what you want to say in court because it's it can get really deep real quick. We could drive dive down that rabbit hole, but I I, I, I do think it's that serious. I, 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 but I, I'm going to get, we are going to go into this in, in, in sneaker court definitely because I'm gonna say this like there's a lot of things that they've done in the past that are not great. Not not great at all. Well, let's just go to the next topic, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, have you just turned down the light on yourself because you just want to sit in the dark room? <laughs> no, it's my, my camera, bro. It, it do what you want to do. All right. Next main subject is the one that we all need to know about. The strategy with Adidas at this moment. I know I know we just talked about Adidas a minute ago, but I think this is brilliance. Um, and I don't know if you can agree with me, but like I now understand more of what is happening with the strategy with Adidas. Let me just say one thing. This Gucci Adidas collaboration, the colorways that they're using on this is absolute fire, bro. Let so- me Forget, forget forget the branding forget the branding forget forget the silhouette the colorways they're using on this is absolute fire but unfortunately they're about 750 pounds to 550 pounds but obviously this will sell out but obviously people will still buy this and this will basically be rocked by people that can afford the tax bracket but the big question is and the big answer is this is actually uh, perpetuating into their general releases, bro. Because now we're seeing ZX 8000s. Now we're seeing Campus 80s. Now we're seeing um, uh, Stan Smiths. So we're seeing a lot of these shell toes and all of these different colorways selling out in GR, in like regular releases. And they're actually starting to release some of these colorways that they see in these collaborations as GR sneakers. And they're selling out. Because I'm going to be honest, bro. The, 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 the whole... Uh, whole 
collaboration is dope. Like I'm gonna say the colorways, the way what they what they brought to the table is absolutely dope. And that's kind of now influencing general sales. This is the strategy Adidas are using. Bruh. <laughs> what do you mean, bruh? Let, let I know me, you me. have a dis- I know you no. have a disdain for Adidas, but I'm just no, 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 no. This is this is part of the problem. This is part of the problem. God, bro. The alienation of the general public to have access to premium products is the problem. One of the problems that we in the culture have identified with this brand, okay? You are correct. Come on, these now, bro. colorways. These colorways are magnificent. Are, but seven hundred fifty dollars for a no, good no, no, colorway? No, 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 no. There ain't no bail. You can't don't shoot no bail. You can't shoot no bail. Seven hundred and fifty. Um, da, 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 seven hundred and fifty dollars for a dope colorway. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, bro. What are you thinking? What, what you think? I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but like, this is this is not. In, where is where where is this color? New balances dropped the shoe like this for yep. hundred forty dollars. It's I'm, it's I'm, available but, right now. The ninety sixty multicolor. It just came out yesterday. It's available. If you want pink and yellow and green and blue and all that on your shoe. Yep, Go yep. get the new balance 9060 multicolor. It's available oh. right now. It's a similar build, probably a similar feel, probably a, a similar comfort, if not better, because that's what New Balance uh is, is standing on before you go spend seven hundred dollars on this damn Gucci yeah. colorway that they could have put on a regular ZX and made accessible to more people. Whether and, it was a collab or not, and bro, bro, like, bro, and and, and this on. is this is what I'm saying, and this is what I'm saying. All them so, colorways, all except the ones with the Gucci print. This mainly the one, the ZXs. All all them yeah. colorways, them where it was like three different colorways they got for the ZX, and they make yeah, it a yeah, yeah. lab for seven hundred fifty dollars. Like what? Come on, bro. People love ZX. Yeah, the, 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 the ZX, the, uh, the ZX is absolutely dope. Look, look at this, look at this um um kind of blue uh, aqua blue colorway, absolutely dope. But this is this is what I'm saying. Like like um the strategy with um with uh, Adidas at the moment is to get get these collaborations, these Balenciagas, these Gucci's, this Prada collaborations, right, and make their sneakers that they don't that, that no no that don't actually currently sell out well, they, to sell out. They're but, taking the high fashion route, bros. I mean, but, but uh, this is uh, this is the high fashion route. But you got to remember. The strategy behind this is to influence stuff like this. See, what you're seeing now is a ZX general release sneaker. That colorway ain't as good as the, the one no. we just looked at. I know it's not it's not as good as what we looked at, right? And the quality looked the same too. The quality looked the same too. But then but then we also getting stuff like this, bro. Which 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 is another ZX we're getting we're gonna see which is another colorway that's absolutely dope which is another GR sneaker this is what I'm trying to get at this is what I'm trying to perpetuate to you is you do they're doing these high end fashion collaborations to get the high end brackets to wear it to realize that these sneakers are absolutely dope so they can release GR sneakers for hundred fifty dollars to actually let you go and get the color the, Bro, the, the these ZX the cap is the cap is too big. I understand I what you're saying. I understand what I you're saying. We see it all the time with other brands. Yep. The cap is too big because New Balance will give you a fresh goods for the same price for 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 two fifty or two hundred, and then give you a GR for one forty. Yeah, we're yeah. talking about but- seven hundred fifty dollar colorways that resemble the one hundred and fifty dollar <laughs> colorway. Yeah, I, you know I do. What I'm I do. That gap, I do the gap is that. is so big to where I think a lot of people are gonna miss even the the collab 
to relate it to or be inspired by um, the collab to buy a GR. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and um, but the the thing is, um, you're not going to like it's like it's like Jordan Brand doing a Dior collaboration and, and selling it for less than the what it's worth because Dior not even a Dior. Is, like like what no. we say, like like your um, what, what was your it idea about about um you know the whole idea behind Big Cap. Yep. Like do a collab and then drop GRs. You know, hype people up, get people to like the silhouette of the collab, and then do GRs with similar yep. styles or you know, different colorways or whatever the case is. I just think no, the that's it. That's the strategy. Big. Yeah, it's, 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 I understand that. But what's the, what's the price on the Dior? What was the retail price on the Dior Jordan 1 High? That was 23.50 23. for the low. No, yeah, 23.50 for the lows and 2400 yep. for the highs or something like that. So that that, that cap's even be, is even bigger than than um than this. <sighs> but it's Nike. Nike, Nike is, don't have, Nike not having the same type of trouble that uh, Adidas is. Yeah, when it but, comes to that. <sighs> But you got to respect the strategy because at the end of the day, you can't do a designer brand collaboration with Balenciaga, Prada or Gucci and not value the sneaker at what they're going to sell it for. Because like, let's be honest, that this whole collaboration ain't for us. This whole collaboration is for people that buy Gucci, Prada and, and Dior or, or um, Balenciaga um, because that, that's where this target is to. But the fact that it's there and accessible, and to be honest, like last week I got a pre-notification to say pre-order some of these sneakers because obviously my price bracket ain't going to let me buy a £750 um, or £750 sneaker. Um, my price bracket is to, to buy what I want and then obviously it's going to be a £200 sneaker or a £300 sneaker wherever it is because that's what, I, that's what my range is at the moment moment but from from my perspective it's still it's not marketed to us but it's a it's a it's a reminder to us that these silhouettes still exist there's still dope colorways in this and if you like anybody else that's new that's looking at this and thinking you know what that that prada that gucci uh, added that collaboration it was dope let me see what other sneakers they have in that range and they can't start looking at stuff like this and the others the ZX is and they actually start loving it it's introducing a new market to your to your actual range and that's what it's all about and i think the strategy I'm, i didn't understand the strategy at first i do understand it now I, and the thing is let's not, let's be honest right even though we ca- even though we're calling it a big cap all of that gucci uh collaboration will sell out all of it will sell out it won't be us buying it will be the high end uh, the, the tax pay it, the higher earners that aren't end up buying that who actually do buy gucci Prada and all that stuff this is for Adidas. Is a good look. I think it's for, it's a definitely good look, and I've got respect. I'm sitting here now reflecting and respecting it because for me it's dope. For me, it it is such a dope, dope, dope sneaker. Like in terms of the colorways, and they brought something, and they brought a strategy that we're not used to. What, what Jordan with Jordan Brown listening that Dior, they could have done it because it's a it's a high end fashion. They really did, they don't really need to fuss about it because they their products sell out instantly. Right, um, but for Adidas, it was a good look. I, I'm definitely saying. I think it. I, I think it's not more. It's obviously capped because of the price, but it's not for us. But then it, the 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 side effect is the, the silhouettes that actually do sit will start get start selling out. We bro, I'm seeing Campus eighty sell out. I'm seeing ZX eight thousand sell out now. Is is it's having an effect on the, on that market, bro? I don't agree, but it is what it is. It I, ain't, is. I ain't buying ZXs anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I just, I just don't think the, um, I don't think those markets are close enough to each other to affect each other like that. But yeah, 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 yeah. It is what it is. But, but, but it is what it is. But like, I can see uh, Adidas is trying, obviously trying to kind of They re- yeah, always trying strategy. something, whether it's gonna work or not. <laughs> oh, God. Let's just be let, okay. Cool. Let's be honest. Let's really be honest. This is a better look than doing an Eminem forum low. Or a, or that's, a your, that's your opinion. <laughs> I think it's better. No, you know what? At least they got all the bases covered. High end fashion, nostalgic kids shows, and then regular releases. At least they got all this all the bases covered. So if one thing's a success, they'll start making money with it. But um, like like I said, it, it's, 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 it's something music, nice. Bro. It's a good strategy. I think it's a good strategy. Let's just see what happens in the long run because at the, at the end of the day, short-term success doesn't dictate long-term success. So let's just see what um what happens through that range. So I don't really care. 
because you're not an Adidas guy. But this is for all the Adidas fans, guys. Um, go and pick up the ZX shoes you want. Ah, you know what? I do have one ZX eight thousand. That's the yeah, pay- people, people. People that buy ZXs is gonna buy ZXs anyway. Yeah, I'm. I'm they might, I might hear about too. the Gucci's, you know, or whatever. But I don't. I don't. I know. I know sneakerheads. Um, certain type of sneakerheads covet ZXs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. like Gucci, just doing the Gucci collab on the ZX. And we, I feel like we don't see enough dope ZX collabs, like just popping out with Gucci for seven hundred fifty dollars. If I'm a yep. ZX collector, I'm not looking at that. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that sideways. Like, damn, I couldn't I'm, get a, I couldn't get a, a Sean Weatherspoon's ZX. You know what I'm saying? I can't get a like where, where are the. I can't get a bad bunny ZX, you know what I mean? Facts, facts, facts. Like, and and th- th- this, this is the thing. Facts, this is bro. why I always. That's why I always have that feeling about Adidas because they don't have. And we can we gonna beat this into the ground until it changes, bro. They don't have a Travis. They don't have a Ama Mayer. They don't have a Concepts. They don't have a Union. They don't have a Sakai. They don't have an Off White. They not they don't have they don't have as much meaning to the culture as these other brands do. They don't have a Joe Fresh Goods. You know what I'm saying? They not they're not doing collaborations with cities. But they not like, they don't have they don't have a dunk low Atlanta. They don't have a 990 V2 DC. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm gonna say they don't like, have a SB. Wait. The way the way Adidas is marketing themselves at this moment in time is high in fashion. Where you with a Y three range, obviously that's that, that's a you more premium range of the regular releases. So that that's that's priced quite highly. I think the, the Jerry Lorenzo range is going to be the same. Um, Sean Weatherspoon is doing his thing with a vegan brand. Um, they've just lost uh, Beyonce with Ivy Park. Uh, Kanye's gone, so there there are there are still in in flux. I think there's but the thing is we don't when I when associated Adidas at the moment they still got all this soccer stuff which is making the money but when i associate stuff with adidas i'm more I associate more with high-end fashion if i'm honest because of the recent collaborations i've done with all the brands all the, all the high-end brands so um that i think their realm is is to produce premium sneakers now bro without without easy they're not making a big dent in the, i know not, and that's the that's the problem now that's the massive you know problem you know the you know the punching machine where you hit it and it's it count um how hard you hit it right <laughs> It's not registering. <laughs> Yo, Nike, Nike, boom! Nike coming through, smacking that thing for a thousand. Breaking the machine. They're breaking the machine, and and that's New not making coming it. through. Bang! They hit the. They didn't tore it up worse than Nike did. In a short yeah. period but, of time, too. Adidas yeah, come but, through and whiff. <laughs> They it. They it. No, but the thing is, like, this is why I love competition. This is why I love seeing uh, the strategies and the progress. Is because I now this moment in time, I'm looking at Adidas. I'm thinking, how are you gonna make up? How are you gonna come up? What's your come up? What's your strategy? What's your designs? What's your new new approach? And this is what I love to see because competition drives competition. And when it's when it comes to the crucial elements of it, you see more innovation through through competition than if it was stagnant. If we had one brand ruling them all, and we didn't see anything from New Balance or Puma. Or Reebok or Adidas or or A or A6 yeah, or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, we 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 say that every week, but yeah. that, that that don't mean just because they, they do one good thing that they for all of a sudden catch up like that. No, okay, no, no. we we know we knew it's, we knew from last year we knew from last year that Adidas Gucci collab was dope. It didn't change nothing for Adidas after. I know, I know, but they start. It's starting to have some sort of similar, so, some sort if of. You, if you say on so, the again, we could we agree to disagree. That's your opinion. I don't think but, so. But, you do. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's we agree to disagree. Let's agree to disagree. All right, cool. But um, shout shout out to everybody that's innovating and, and making progress because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. That's always what it's all about is making sure that. And this is the game of life. We, we, we ran the game of life. At the end of the day, it's it's, a, it's not it's perpetuated through history, and it's going to be here a hundred years after we we're gone anyway. So from that perspective, keep doing what you're doing, guys, and keep progressing what you're progressing. But the last subject, bro, is is close, very close to my heart, and it's very close to what a lot of people say. So the, last, the main subject is um, terminologies. 
some of these terminologies we need to start banning, bro. I'm fed up of people saying this sneaker is dead, or did, or um or the fact that um this this is a brick. We need to we need to kind of regulate the terminology because I I'm gonna be honest, bro. Anybody that tells me a sneaker's dead, I'm gonna call you ignorant. Anybody says that there's a brick, I'm gonna call you a, a hype beast or a reseller, because like, and that's the, the, those terminologies to me are disrespectful. They're disrespectful for people that actually love the sneaker. They're disrespectful for people that pick up the sneaker. Because, like, that's cyberbullying. Because at the end of the day, if somebody's wearing a sneaker that you don't really like, but you call it dead or you call it, like, it's a brick or it's not that important, you're downgrading their purchase. You're actually physically, you're not actually verbally kind of judging them. And I don't like that. That's, 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 that's prime sneaker snobbery like like the fact that your bro i still i still to this day i remember who i'm not gonna mention my names somebody came on my live on instagram and said threes were dead when i and year three just released or, or a year ago and i was like what a lot of people were up in hysterics but like that to me like what we discussed last week is prime clout chasing prime capping because you want a reaction but you use bad terminology to kind of get that reaction I, yo, bro, nothing's dead. Like, literally, your knowledge is dead if you're saying that because you have no knowledge about the sneaker or the value of the sneakers or what it brings. And I don't like the word dead, bro. I don't like the word, this sneaker is dead, this sneaker is a brick, this sneaker doesn't belong in there. So, yo, bro, why, who are you to judge somebody's top 10 or, to, or to, somebody's like? To me, that's a big cap. You can call it what you want. I like to call it just life like that's that's, <laughs> the way it, that's just the way it works bro like yeah. we as much as you like or dislike something you alone can't move the needle enough on um certain narratives yeah to make it go away or bring more attention to it unfortunately um, unless you got a certain platform and even sometimes then it don't work or it, you know, like with the whole the whole terminology thing, like we were just talking about nicknames. Yep. The the whole thing about sneakers being bricks is from a re- a resale perspective. Yeah, yeah. So you can you only you only have so much choice in how you feel about that when somebody say it you know what i'm saying either they yeah. they're saying it from a from a, a true resale perspective because they participate in resale or it's something that they picked up and they may or may not know that it's a resale term you know what i'm saying like if if somebody say oh that's a brick they might be saying it in a good way like yeah it's it's bricking bro i'm finna i'm finna walk in the store and get one right now I'm pr- i've never heard that that context but it's possible you know what I'm saying? so that's that's kind of where i'm at with that with, with yeah terms. I, like I, people i i don't because we hate to see it because we know what it entails you know what i'm saying Based i don't on the mind context. i don't mind the word brick if I'm honest, like it's it's a resource. I mean, I can understand resellers using it, and then it's a context of the context of the word. Obviously, it's a brick because it means it's sitting, and it's obviously, um, it's going to be a brick because it's, it's sitting there like like a brick would. But and I totally understand. Well, we that. don't say brick; I, we say sitting. It, we say it's sitting, same, it's sitting. it means it's the same a reseller thing. term. Yeah, it means the same thing, but it's a reseller term. So I don't mind that. I don't mind people calling it a brick, but I do kind of take. I do kind of. Uh, it irks me when somebody the negative says it's a brick. connotation that come with it. Yeah, exactly. But no, but it irks me when somebody it, it irks me more when somebody says a sneaker's dead than it is to than it irks me when somebody says it's a brick. Because a brick is a brick, okay, cool, that's fine. I'm used to that terminology because it's like it's sitting there, okay, cool. If it's a brick, go guys, you feel it, go and get it, go and buy it, you can see it, you can love it, you can like it. But from my perspective, when you call a whole silhouette dead, yo, bro, we just talked about the Jordan Free, how magnificent all those those two pine greens and uh, wizards are. How how you sit in there. Okay, you might not like it. You might not like it. You might not keep, associate with it. We don't have to keep bringing that up, bro. It's not. It's just not true. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like, is people? I think I said this last week. Pay no attention to the ramblings of these idiots online. 
<laughs> one two things, bro. Like that's why I I don't want to look at mockups and believe rumors and and all that type of stuff. Like, let me let me see it for real. You know what I mean? Like we've been. I'm so sick and tired of seeing this reimagined royal thing going on, bro. I yeah. feel the same way about all that stuff, but like, just like how we was talking about people talking regulars in the comments, man, folk run up on you in comments and messages and say all type of just dastardly, despicable things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I had the same. I had the same opinion when I see somebody like a mo- bro. People be going crazy in the mock-up comments. Yeah, crazy, bro. Like this, this. This is what we think is it's March. This is what we think is gonna look like when it come out in December, even though we five months away from seeing any type of indication of a real photo. Yeah. And people are losing their minds, bro. <laughs> it's like oh, and, 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 you, know, you, know, you know you know what it is? You for for me, it's it's not it, you bro, if you said a sneaker was dead. Um, I would, I would like we have that discussion, but you're open to that discussion, like, and that, that's the good thing about us. So, by the way, shout out to you, bro, today because you're actually talking facts. You're actually talking a lot of facts today. Um, but, um, but basically, um, when you say a sneaker is dead or you don't like a sneaker, you don't actually say it's dead. You, we have a discussion about it. But some of these people that say sneakers are dead, and they just don't want a re- rebuttal from you, and they don't want you to say anything back. They just want you to take fa- face back figures because they don't want that argument because they can't have that argument because they're ignorant into the situation about why that sneak is relevant. So, like, why a Jordan three or a Jordan four, a, a OG is relevant? Why the white cement freeze are relevant? Why the Emma Manier freeze are relevant with the history and stuff like that? Or why the Emma Manier fours or any other sneaker that comes out? Why is it so relevant to the culture and the history and the and the meaningful? But they don't want to know. They just, they just, okay, I can understand sneakers that just want to like, like it for the color um, and I love it for the color. But like for us, when we hear that, when you're ignorant to a subject or a situation you, and you downgrade it, that's ignorance one on one, bro. And I don't like that. You need to learn the subject matter, at least have a little bit brief knowledge of what you're talking about before you say something. That's like me saying something about something I don't know and then just say, no, yo, yo, bro, like I say, yo, making a curry's dead. Like, bro, bro, you, you, if I don't know nothing about the subject matter of how to be a chef, and I'm saying, yo, that, that's that's rubbish, whatever. That That's me being ignorant, not even learning and respecting the trade. Uh, bro, I, that's I that's I what I don't like. Nothing else to say about that. Like, <laughs> 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 whatever. That's a whatever situation, bro. Like, yeah. Maybe, maybe I just should just learn. Like, it just, it just, Got to me like I'm the the background to this is I went to I went to the King of Trainers shout out the King of Trainers um event the sneak of the year event in like last week and um, oh Monday that's just gone and um somebody on the panel said um Jordan three Emma Meniers and Jordan four Emma Meniers were dead and I sat there. Yo, and look at your face, look at your face when exactly that was exactly my reaction. My was like jaw drop, like what the hell are you actually saying? And do you understand the sneaker? And uh, and like, what are you actually talking about? That's my reaction, bro. And this is why. And this is a young, a young guy, and he's still and he's still learning. So you got to give it to him. Give give him that. This my reaction was exactly the same. And I'm like, why? What, you, do you even understand what that sneaker means to, to the to the community uh, or the, to, to to people? Do you understand? Do you, do you really understand? And you verbally said to a crowd of people that probably voted for that sneaker to be sneaker of the year that that sneaker is absolutely horrendous or dead or whatever you want to call it because you brought some negativity to it. <laughs> to me, that was a cap. To me, that was a clout chasing moment. And that's why yeah. I just want that term. The, that's the, why I want the, that term ripped up and thrown in the bin. The, the I'm on my year three is one of the greatest Jordan threes ever uh, created. <laughs> Shout out to James Whitner and the Whitaker group. Um, it was sneaker of the year, in most people's opinion, the year it came yep. out. Now, I'm on my year four is pretty much the top five sneaker of 2022. Um, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, bro. Yeah, guys, 
<laughs> like I said, bring positivity, don't bring no negativity. Make sure you're always awesome. Make sure you keep doing the awesome things that you keep doing because at the end of the day, we need to eradicate all this negativity that's in our society. And at the end of the day, you bro, need to be awesome. Bro, the I'm on my year three is probably a top five Jordan three. Now you black know cement, why I said black why cement, I said. white cement, true blues. Nah, pirates. I'm on my year better than both of them. Dawn Beckers. Yo, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, bro. I'm on my year mm-hmm. better than the Dawn Beckers. They're better than yeah. the Fragments. Yeah. They're better than Fragments. Well, other threes. Don't, don't better, speak about it. They're better than Mocha Threes. They're better than uh, what other threes? They, I think they're better than the Cali threes. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. With you. Like, K-54. bro, they, they, those black, the go, those black K fifty four, K fifty four, hard, bro. Hard, bro. Those colors up the back, bro. <laughs> you and all like and all like pink. I, I, but the K fifty four threes, they they super hard. Yo, super bro, hard. and we and we just we just uh, touching. The, you know, there's just a little bit of the of the of the three Timberlake threes, about. like what? It's a lot bro. of it's a lot of three colorways bro. that I forget because of the I'm on my year three. I ain't gonna front. Yeah, the, I think the they, I would. No, no, no. Free throw line ain't even better than white cement. I know, I know, no, no. Free, free throw lines is is is, is his, like the dunk contest in AEA is associated with that history of that sneaker. It's just such a yeah, the special, the, the special part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, the, the thing, the thing is, bro. Like, I just don't understand why somebody would sit there knowing nothing about the silhouette would say that. And well, the, you should, you should start just naming threes like I did. Yeah, of course. A lot of people. I, 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 I didn't need to say anything. I didn't need to say anything. A lot of people wore his neck. That's all I'm saying. Uh, and like, also, this is other, why people, I, other people jumped on him. Like, well, he already got beat up. We don't need to talk about him. Yeah. Beat up. yeah, exactly. exactly. But like, up. yeah, bro. Bro, like I said, like, I would, I never called a sneaker dead ever in my life. I've never said that. Um, because no. um, I want to walk. It might not be popping, but ain't nothing dead. No, exactly. Like, that's the whole point, bro. That's my whole point. If it's not popping for you, but it's popping for somebody else, you can't say it's dead. If it, if, if it doesn't go, if they're not giving this to you for free, it's not dead. You see how these two are coming out, don't you? <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm going for the pine green. I'm going that pine green too, even though it's sat, even though it's sat, it's going on sale. I'm picking up. I'm picking up. I'm, I'm going to go back and pick it up. That's a dope colorway. I don't, I don't, I don't care if it's going on sale. I don't care if it's if it's going to go and sell more. Uh, it's, if it's sitting, if it's sold, sold out. If if I like it, I'm going to go in for it. And that's the bottom line, bro. That's the bottom that's line. The because bottom you, line. Because <laughs> you, and you know, it, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know why I said that, bro. But that's the bottom line. Because at the end of the day, bro, you like what you like. You love what you love. You're gonna always love what you love, no matter what anybody says to you. You're gonna love that. Doesn't matter if you're a New Balance guy. Doesn't matter if you're a Solomon guy. Doesn't matter if you're an Asics guy. Doesn't, just love what you love. But pay tribute and to respect to the sneaker that you don't like because at the end of the day somebody put some thought process to that somebody designed that somebody put that into production a lot of people probably love that and you're disrespecting a lot of people by saying all that negativity about something just because you don't like something doesn't mean it's great it doesn't mean it's not great either way so bro that that's good yeah goofy behavior yeah that, that is goofy behavior definitely so guys just um just be just be true and honest to yourself if you don't like something don't like it just move away from it like i like i said like what i do if i was a hater is move away from the situation and not even think about it see what i'm saying i, I, I like to move people away if you don't want to move out the way i'll move you myself Look. Block. Block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. When resale is too high. Damn resale. Order, order. When hype beats go too far. The damn hype beats. Order, order in the court. Order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for. Order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion.
Cutie! Welcome back to Sneaker Court Public Opinion with me, Judge Public Opinion and Executioner. What's up, bro? <laughs> Bring that book out of justice because we got two great court, court cases on the docket. Did you like the way I introduced that? Executioner! <laughs> I, I felt like a wrestler coming down the ramp. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Can you smell what the Cutioner's doing? <laughs> Yo, okay, so uh, you got a case and I got a case. Yeah, Ooh, how well, you want to do it? You want to go first? Let's, let's, let's get let's get the easy one out of the way. So, um, today on the docket is obviously Adidas and uh, not so court case, court case against the uh, Black Lives Matter. The bro, like, I'm gonna say a quick, quick couple of things. Um, mistakes have been made over the years with Adidas. Unfortunately, those mistakes are still haunting them to this day. The fact that they didn't sign Jordan is still haunting them. The fact that, that Kanye situation is still haunting them financially. The fact that Ivy Park has left, even though they thought it was going to be good and it was productive and fruitful, that's going to haunt them in the future. And obviously, this whole bad image with Black Lives Matter that they've actually accidentally leaked that the fact they were going to sue or go into them for infringement rights with the logo and then obviously withdraw it automatically in the public eye it's still a case because it got leaked and unfortunately however much you want to kind of withdraw it and say it's all fine I just believe that it's out there now and everybody kind of knows that you have a problem with that logo even though you withdrew it I know you withdrew it I know you want to save image but unfortunately guys it is, the, it is what it is. It is out in the open. And you're just guilty for being absolutely dumb. That was a dumb situation, bro. Yeah. Mistakes are always going to be made, but I don't know. Why do you keep making the same mistakes all the time? All the time. All the time, bro. Is... I don't, I, and the reparations is you're going to actually donate to Black Lives Matter because that's, <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the verdict today. Because do some good. Give some good back to the community. And give something back to Black Lives Matter, or help help Black Lives Matter escalate to the to the pinnacle that they need to be. Because obviously, it. injustice injustice needs to be stopped, bro. Like it it, does, injustice needs but, to be stopped. Uh, come on, come on, bro. This anyway. I said I said what I had to say. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, guilty, I want to go guilty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what's the next court case on the docket, bro? Yo. Okay. Nike. Oh, this is Nike, controversial, bro. Jordan this is brand. coming from you. <laughs> what is this? Oh, what? What is this? Is that a, is that a distressed neutral gray one low? That's what it looked like, don't it? What is it, bro? Is that reimagined neutral gray one low? That we got two years back or one year back. I don't can't remember when it was. Two years back, I think. This the rumor. Um, this is an eighty-five low. Okay. So, Why? Jordan one low, eighty-five neutral gray. Supposedly releasing October this year. Why? This is an early rumor. Now I waited on this, right? Yeah. Because I've been seeing it for a couple of weeks now. I didn't so I know. Say, bro. I yeah. didn't know. I see it here and there popping up. So I looked into it because this is foul. If this is real, this is foul. Because what's this? I know. The new degree, I mean, the new degree one law really recently released. I'm just trying to work out the date it released. I think it was the last couple of years it released. It released in 2021, so yeah, two years ago. Yeah, yeah June, June. So it's been almost two years. So I, they, they, I got your bro. There was a plethora. There's a plethora of players of the of those. I actually ended up getting free for E. I think those are those bro. are beautiful sneaker, bro. Like the materials on that is absolutely dope on that sneaker. Let's just go and highlight this, bro. Put yourself out there, bro. Like literally, look at that sneaker. Absolutely dope. There's just the quality, the, the build, the leather, the, the comfortability on that sneaker, the Jordan 1 Low Neutral Grey is so dope, bro. So, so dope. So dope. Better than the 85 cut high we got as well. Yeah. So, why are we getting the 85 low? I don't know, bro. You tell me. 
Because, because I mean, that's the same thing, bro. Yeah, but it's got the it's got the eighty five swoosh, bro. It's the swoosh is bigger on on the actual eighty five cup, which is a bit different. So that, that's the only thing that's probably different. Probably going to bring more more harder um full attainment level. And Wayne's logo is black too. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be different. It's going to be slightly different. I think a lot of OG heads will probably go for this OG um, eighty five low because obviously it's an, an eighty five cut, but it's not necessary. We got that sneaker two years ago, bro. So. This is a prime example of when Big Cap goes wrong to me. I don't mm. like this. This is a Cardinal Fire Red situation. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This yeah. is potentially a Wizard True Blue situation if your predictions, yep. the, if, if the predictions of uh, Shustra Damas come true. <laughs> like they, like they, don't like call they me that do yet until it comes true, bro. Like they do from time to time. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is this is cap, bro, at the highest level. Yeah, yeah, bro. That that's that. I'm gonna have to throw the book at them for giving us an 85 low. Not even a full two years. Well, at that time, it is supposedly released. Yeah. It'd be more than two years after release, but yeah, yeah, guilty. It's the same shoe, bro. Guilty for your yeah, bro. This is what this like. Even we're talking about the black cement, um, well, black cement fours or the bread fours, we even call it. But we're talking about that, and that's that released in 2019. And when four years on, we might or five years on, we might be getting two silhouettes or two different colorways. If if the rumors are true, we might be getting two. Or three, depending on the rumors. If we might be getting SB, we might be getting SB job, uh, bread four, or might be getting a, a reimagined bread four, all leather. So even even a lot of people in the comments are saying four years is not long enough because we haven't even run through the pairs we got in 2019. So from that perspective alone, that that four year difference, a lot of people are still thinking like that's too too short. So that two years is way too short, bro. That that sneaker didn't need to come out. Then if let's be honest, the neutral way one low actually sat. Actually, was uh, went out a lot. Of people got multiple players because of how yeah, brilliant that sneaker is. They weren't hard to get. Plus, the sneaker was so dope. The sneaker was so dope. And this is this is the same thing going back to what I was saying. You can't call it a brick because a lot of people loved it. A lot of people bought multiple players of it. Now I know E probably got two or three pairs himself. And that was, that was me just giving him assist. There you go, bro. Take it, take it, take it. Um, but that that sneaker that you just held up to do a new degree one low from two from twenty to one is dope, bro. So. I don't understand why we get an 85 cut. Yeah. It's too early. It's too early. The chick, the, the, the chick, the eggs that haven't hatched yet for us to kind of enjoy the, the, the chickens. So why are we getting more eggs? Cat. <laughs> 100% cap 100% cap bro what's what's your judgment on this like what 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 would you want to give the sentence because obviously we always give a sentence I, I can't because I want more shoes <laughs> <laughs> and we leave it at that we leave it at that that's just funny <laughs> bro you, you, you brought this to court and you still say that I still want it <laughs> When resale is too high. Damn resellers. Hold up, hold up. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for. Order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Bro, you're getting this yellow card for that shoe doggery, bro. <laughs> you're getting that yellow card for that shoe doggery, bro. <laughs> that was terrible, bro. <laughs> you bought it to court and you're like, I can't, I want more. Uh, no, bro, no. I want I want too much stuff to come come back right now. I'm, yeah, I'm, bro. I'm, we, at a, we, I'm at a crossroads right now, bro, with, with my uh Brother's evolution is just happening so fast, bro. I didn't imagine that it would happen so fast, right? Because yeah. now I'm I'm looking at um 
I'm starting to look at older stuff again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because I've done a custom now, I'm looking Ooh. at um, you know, older things that I wouldn't have looked at before because before I was looking for the cleanest thing, but now I don't have to necessarily be the cleanest as long as it's still in good shape, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shit, with, with that, with that, and um, you know, the fact that I'm just not looking like don't get me wrong, it's some gems this year. We seen we seen a good amount of gems this year. I ain't gonna front. And a lot of stuff that two years ago I would have bought, I would have been all over it. But yeah. now, not so much, bro. I started putting together a list. Selected. Yeah, I, I started putting together a list, right? Because my collection, like I'm thinking about it from my collections. Yeah, standpoint. you're cu- curating your correct. Cu- you're curating your collection to be um, what you want it to be, and I think a lot of people are actually in that step because when you have a lot of sneakers, you're like, "All right, cool. I need to make sure I can curate this to my style." And I think I love that about you because, like, yeah. you you're curating that, and then and I understand that. But yeah, bro, like, um, whoever whoever was capping this year to start the start this year, and we've just gone through the podcast and shown some releases, some rumors, some uh, collaborations, some union collaborations that we're coming out with some sb collaborations that we're coming out like there's a lot of sneakers this oh, right is my, yeah my manier fives that we predicted um then also the um, other other dj khaled stuff that was coming out as well bro we like there is so patterns going to do this year pet concepts patterns um union um we've got loads of collaborations we've got, hey everybody all the usual everybody. suspects we know they'll be back yeah <clears throat> and when when we th- when we think about it and when we reflect on this um and sit back guys just just for one moment in time sit back and think about uh, the actual sneaker environment at the moment in time and you realize this is probably the peak in peak time in sneaker sneaker releases and sneaker environment because we've never seen as many collaborations we've never seen as many sneakers come out we've never seen as many og sneakers come out we've never seen as many old second tier third tier first tier sneakers like lightnings like thunders come out or even the CLJPs come out this is the prime time right this moment in time we're sitting in a part of history where the brands are competing so much so for your money and attention that the brilliance of these sneakers is absolutely dope, which we wouldn't right. have seen maybe I'm 10 zoom, years ago. I'm zoomed in on them, on them CLJP Air Max, boy. Mm, I'm mm. zoomed in on it, them. And this, I'm waiting, and the, boy. That's all I'm looking at. That's bro. all I'm looking at, bro. I'm so zoomed. I'm two, week, two weeks out. I'm still I'm zoomed in on them, bro. And I'm 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 just saying like the amount of Air Maxes we've got for the Air Max guys, love that. Even though I'm not an Air Max guy, I love that. I fact the fact that I saw the I've got that I got Dell the great in great indoors and the reviews are obviously out by now if you're watching this. But the great indoor that sneaker is absolutely dope. That could have been a concept sneaker, bro. Like the 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 magnificence of it. Dell's keeps sending me Air Maxes that he loves and some some of the Air Maxes, bro. Some of these Air Maxes are absolute fire. Right, and I'm not an Air Max guy, right? And I never will say Air Max is a dead, but I'm just saying Air Max is absolutely doing it this year. Air Trainers are absolutely doing it the last couple of years. Job, bro. Jordan Brand's always been doing it. Nike SBs are doing it. Like Dunks are doing it, bro. This right, this moment in time, <coughs> right, this moment in time. If somebody's saying the sneaker game is dead, just show them the sneakers that are coming up. That will just shut them up. Cause right, this moment in time is peak time. Peak time, bro. Who would imagine five years ago that we would had Amamanier ones, twos, threes, fours, twelves, fives potentially coming, and they're absolutely dope. They are regarded as one of the best sneakers for that year. No, bro. I'm just saying, unions, union, like oh, bro, 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 bro. bro. Let's not let's love. Yo, you're you're capping if you say sneak game is dead. That's it, simple as. Because like this, right this moment in time, as I'm sitting and thinking about it, the guys, like I said, recommend you sit back and think about it. Right this moment in time, it's prime. Sneaker game is prime. Sneakers, are, and I love the fact sneakers are sitting. All the all the sneakers that are sitting are actually fire, bro. Like you fire sneakers, Cardinal Sevens, Playoff Thirteens. 
Just enjoy it. It ain't, it ain't everything. <laughs> but just enjoy it. Every, enjoy everything, it. everything ain't fine, but it's it's a yeah, it's yeah. Out there. It's it's, um, out there. Bro, and this is and I keep saying this. I'm not gonna keep saying this till it comes out. <laughs> Tokyo T twenty three five coming your way soon. That's what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> Look, we we appreciate everybody, man, tuning in. Um, keep your head up, man. Keep your head up. Keep grinding, whatever you love doing, man. Find a way to do it and mix it in with your regular life. If you can, figure out a way to uh, turn what you love doing into your regular life. Yeah, that's the goal, man. That's that's the yeah. greatness, man. And remember what we all are trying to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And remember what Q said, thou shall stop off because Gaddaf can't, no, what was it? Thou can't stop off because thou shall pop off. That's what it's all about, bro. Keep popping, man. (laughs) Just keep Keep popping. popping. You know what I mean? Exactly. Keep popping. Keep popping. Yo, for TJ, man, y'all make sure y'all hit all them buttons, by the way. Like, subscribe, um, follow us on IG. It's in the description. It's on the screen. Love Kicks Customs, 808 Kicks underscore ATL. Hopefully, all y'all have a good day. Good week. Good month. Good year. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. everybody can buy the same shoe every two years. If that's what they <laughs> want to do. Because, sure enough, Nike didn't decide it. They're going to give us the same shoe two years in a row. If you like it. <laughs> you know yep. what I mean? <laughs> Peace out, man. Peace. Peace out. Peace. Peace. Peace.